Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. The Weakest Summon. The Devil's Contract Talent at the Beginning is Maxed Out. Chapter 21. Too Fierce. Looking at the cold corpses falling one by one. Dao Qian and the others actually had an illusion. The Nightmare Level Abyss isn't that difficult. Of course, this is just an illusion. If they were allowed to chop down a Hanji with 40,000 HP, they wouldn't be able to kill him for a whole day. But an Ice-type Shock can deal 2,000 damage, and two Ice-type Shock monks with high blood volume will be unable to withstand it. But the group of Shield Soldiers had already endured four Ice Shocks. The Ice Armor also showed no value under the fire of the Archers. However, every guide states that the most annoying skill of Hanji is the Ice Armor, because it can block any damage and actually gives professionals the illusion of it. He was almost killed, but the damage hit the ice armor, and he was killed by Hanji in the end. Then there is the level 4 deceleration halo. Being stuck by the cold corpse can only be described as being difficult to move. I'll do it, I can't. Dao Qian finally woke up from his illusion. I'll go, I'll be beaten. Kei Ying added. Same as above. Wenren Qingyu also said. All I can say is that it is really easy to watch Zheng Yu kill Hanji. If you do it yourself, you will definitely die in seconds. Not to mention the level 13 elite cold corpse, the surrounding low level cold corpses constantly crawling out of the forest were beyond the reach of ordinary professionals. While eating and drinking, a large number of cold corpses had fallen. Experience increases steadily. The most troublesome cold in the cold street abyss also disappeared because of the existence of the twin fire demons. In the end, the group of cold corpses still failed to get close to the goblin general. Even the level 13 elite Hanji fell to the ground 30 meters away from the goblin Hanji under the indiscriminate shooting. When the skilled general's order is released, it is almost possible to clear the level without any damage. The only thing that was damaged was the shield in the hands of the shield goblin. The shield was the only battle damage. It was covered with ice and ice axes that had been chopped on it, as well as cracks caused by the shock of the ice system. The goblin general didn't even move a step. Boom. It ended with the goblin general's last arrow. The level 13 elite cold corpse was taken away. The cold corpse hit the ground heavily, and the body made the sound of breaking ice. Kill elite Hanji LV.13 and gain 1547 experience points. Congratulations. Obtain the weapon. Ice Blade, Silver Level LV.10. Level 10 Equipment. Zheng Yu was overjoyed. Immediately open the inventory and look at this new piece of equipment. Weapon, Ice Blade. Wearing Level, Level 10. Wearing Requirements, proficient in daggers such as Assassin, Shadowman, Grey Warrior and other professions, and can be worn with an agility of 35 or above. Grade, Silver. Attributes. Strength plus 5-0, Agility plus 3-0, Movement Speed plus 20%. Equipment Effect. The attack has Ice Attributes, Ice Attribute Damage plus 2-0-0, and a critical hit will definitely trigger a freezing effect. An Ice Dagger. Zheng Yu looked at Kei Ying and Wen Ren Qingyu. There is a dagger, do you two want to buy it? Dagger. Kei Ying and Wen Ren Qingyu's eyes lit up at the same time. Zheng Yu said, However, the wearing requirements are a bit high, so you probably won't be able to use them now. He said and sent the attributes to the team chat room. Well, it's indeed a bit high. It requires 40 points of agility. I only have 22 points of agility now. Kei Ying said she was sorry after reading the attributes. Zheng Yu said, although this dagger has high attribute requirements, the effect is very good. I remember that assassins have back attack skills. If you dodge an attack with your back, there is a high chance of a critical hit. Coupled with the freezing effect of the weapon's critical hit, you can definitely freeze the opponent after using the back attack, and inflict a set of damage. Kei Ying and Wenren Qingyu glanced at Zheng Yu in surprise, I didn't expect you to know the assassin quite well. Zheng Yu shrugged, I know all the professions except summoner. I did a search just now. The price of this ice blade at the temple auction house is not too expensive. It's 300,000. I'll buy it for you for 200,000 and treat it as compensation for the invisibility potion. If you need it, just come to me after the abyss is over, but you are both assassins, so who can decide between themselves? The attributes of the ice blade are good, but the price is actually not expensive. 
A dagger with good attributes that can be used between level 10 and level 15, with a market price of 300,000, is indeed not expensive. After all, most professionals are stuck at this level. The reason why it is not expensive is because there are very few assassins. If you switch to warrior weapons, the starting price is at least 800,000. The premium is too serious. Kei Ying and Wen Ren Qingyu seemed to be chatting privately about whether to use the dagger. Zheng Yu did not disturb them. Instead, he said to the goblin general, you guys should rest where you are. After we finish eating, we will go into the forest. Central Park is the only rest area. Once you enter the forest you are forced to go all the way to the end. Resting here is the best time, not only to allow the goblin general and the goblin combat team to recover their physical strength, but also to eat the mutton chops. Eating lamb chops. After an hour, Zheng Yu and the others were full of wine and food. The summoned beasts don't need to eat, otherwise Zheng Yu would prepare some mutton chops for these heroes. Finished packing. Under the leadership of the goblin general, enter the forest. Before entering the forest, Zheng Yu took out a dummy and threw it to a goblin wolf cavalry, letting it trap the dummy behind the giant wolf. The forest is the last hurdle in the abyss of difficulty. As long as you keep the spring water and deliver the female corpse to the ice-free lake, you will be considered cleared. In the nightmare level, the forest is not the end, but the beginning of difficulty. To be conservative, Zheng Yu released a dummy that could help him block damage. Training Dummy Level 2 has 5,000 health points and can withstand all damage from attacking summoners. Two identical dummies can be synthesized and upgraded to a Level 3 Training Dummy. This is equivalent to a 5,000 shield. Very suitable for Zheng Yu now. After entering the forest, the temperature drops again. The Twin Fire Demons raise the temperature of the Halo so that Zheng Yu and the others would not suffer from frostbite and would not get too hot. The forest was bigger than they imagined. Follow the difficult guide map to find the spring. Hiss. When they reached the spring, they all gasped. Because there was a huge spider lying next to the spring. The giant spider corpse is a monster they have known about in the guide, but they did not expect that the nightmare level giant spider corpse would look like this. The spider head is a human head. There are signs of sewing all over the body. If you look closely, you can see that what should be black and hairy spider skin is actually a human scalp. Pieces of human scalp were sewn on it, and the black hair was not spider hair, but hair. Vomit. Kei Ying couldn't hold it back and almost vomited. No wonder those cold corpses are missing their scalps. The flesh and blood of their heads are frozen and exposed. They were sewn here. This is not like a monster, more like a revenge. At this time, Zheng Yu thought of the awful cake made by the human child. As well as the female corpse that needs to be fished out of the well in the guide. He probably understood why the street was like this. Roar. As the goblin general entered the spring range. The human skin spider roared threateningly at the goblin general. Still not actively attacking, but expelling. Yes, they actually don't want to fight us at all, but have to fight us because they have something more afraid of. Human Scalp Spider. Level. LV.15. Level. Elite. HP. 60,000. Attack Power. 1050. Skill I. Artificial Spider Silk. Skill 2. Ice Venom. Skill 3. Cruelty. Skill IV. Resentment enters the body. Skill V. Resentment. Zheng Yu looked at the attributes of this human skin spider and felt the difficulty of coming from the Nightmare Abyss. He said to the twin fire demons beside him, you come in too. Call. The flames suddenly increased. The twin fire demons have been patient for a long time. Seeing the goblin general, who was also a summoned beast, killing him, he could only help grill the meat and sausages. It had long been holding back a fire and wanted to vent it out. Human skin spiders move very quickly. When he discovered the goblin general, he quickly changed his position and avoided the arrows that were fired upon him. Puff. And spit out a mouthful of white mucus. It's an artificial spider web. Directly sticks the shield of a shield goblin to the ground, making it impossible to move. Immediately afterwards, the human skin spider spit out three more balls of spider web. But before it even touched the shield goblin, it instantly burned into ashes. Call. The twin fire demons rushed to the battlefield angrily. The flames on his body were burning vigorously. 
The ground that was frozen due to the cold melted, the ground even began to dry up, and the temperature rose. Laugh. As the temperature gradually rises, the body of the human skin spider, which is sewn by the scalp, begins to show signs of burning. It is an ice-type monster, and the fire type is its nemesis. This is also the reason why Zheng Yu chose the fire element for his second summon beast. Minus 1441, minus 1528, minus 1359, minus 1259. Pieces of damage suddenly appeared on the body of the human skin spider. Flame Halo causes 1186 points of burning damage per second 456 fire elf attack power asterisk 2.6 coefficient and it's not damage per second instead it does damage twice per second twin fire demons double halos the burning damage of the flame aura the restrained damage of the fire attribute and the double fire damage of the twin fire monsters directly pouring out nearly 3000 damage per second the human skin spider's health bar has dropped visibly. Not only the human skin spiders, but also the ground and surrounding trees were on fire. Boom. The flames enveloped almost everything around it. Even the goblin general retreated to the back with his team. And commanded the goblin archers to continue shooting. Roar. The burning of the body does not seem to cause pain to the human skin spider, but it is an ice monster with a strong yin energy and hates fire very much. It sprayed out spider silk, trying to tie up the twin fire demons. But before the spider silk could reach the fire demon, it had already burned into ashes. Seeing that the spider silk failed, the human skin spider rushed to the twin fire demons despite the burning. Protect the twin fire demons. Zheng Yu said. I saw the goblin wizard standing at the end raising his staff. Green light glowed from the tip of the staff. The human skin spider suddenly paused, and the head sewn on its body suddenly sank, and it fell asleep. Maleficent. Wu Zong recognized the magic. This is a level 5 skill for mages. It is a relatively good control skill. All mages will learn it in the early stages. It is considered an auxiliary skill. I didn't expect goblins to know this kind of magic. The sleep does not last long. It only takes about 1.5 seconds. But for the twin fire demons and the goblin general, this time was enough. Fire Cage. Charge the wolf cavalry. Facing the human skin spider with 55,000 HP, the twin fire demons and the goblin general had already received Zheng Yu's order to attack with all their strength, don't hold back. The strongest skill is thrown out. I saw a circle of fire appearing under the human skin spider. Crimson flames gathered in the fire ring. Boom. A roaring sound. Flames rose in the fire ring, completely covering the human skin spider's body. Flame Cage LV.8. Causes 2645, 456, fire elf attack power, asterisk 5.8, coefficient per second. Minus 3018, minus 2985. Two injuries appeared instantly. The explosive damage of the twin fire demon is not high. But the sustained damage is terrifying. Double damage, still every second. In addition, the human skin spider has almost no magic resistance, and the damage dealt by the twin fire monsters is somewhat confusing. Roar. The human skin spider wakes up from its slumber. He retreated crazily, wanting to leave this cage of flames. But at this time, the goblin general had already entered. As Zheng Yu summoned beasts, the flames of the twin fire demons cannot harm the goblin general. This is the best combination. Ouch. The giant wolf's charge was unstoppable. It led the goblin general into the flame cage and knocked it down with a hammer. Minus 14,891. A super high damage of nearly 15,000 floated out. Hiss. Dao Qian and others watching the show behind him took a deep breath. What is this? One hammer does 15,000 damage. I don't understand this hurt. 15,000 for one hammer, it's too scary. If the opponent were a professional, who could catch this blow? Dao Qian and others, who were hiding far away, discussed in a low voice. Not necessarily. Abyssal monsters are abyssal monsters, and professionals are professionals. Abyssal monsters generally have thick health and low defense. Professionals have various equipment and skills, and are difficult to kill instantly. Wu Zong analyzed rationally. It's hard to be killed instantly. Tell me, at the same level, 
who can withstand 15,000 damage? Dao Qian asked. Wu Zong, indeed not. This is just a skill. You must know that there is a combat team behind the Goblin General to supplement the damage, and there is also a fire demon that releases flames all the time and deals damage every second. Kei Ying said, according to what you say, if Zheng Yu participates in a professional fighting competition, wouldn't Zheng Yu definitely win? Wen Ren Qingyu said, that's not necessarily the case. After all, the only requirement to participate in the competition is level 25 or above. After the second turn, there is no level limit. Actually, what Wu Zong said makes sense. Zheng Yu's damage is very high, but hitting a professional may not necessarily cause such high damage. The first is attribute restraint. Second is defense. And the most important thing is that professionals are different from abyss monsters. They won't hurt them while standing. With level suppression, equipment suppression, and professional advantages, I don't think Zheng Yu can still crush everything like he is now. Of course, you will get good results, but you won't be at the top. I think the summoner's advantage lies in crossing the abyss, and fighting competitions will suffer greatly. After all, as long as you ignore the summoned beast and just attack Zheng Yu, everything can be solved. In the abyss, abyss monsters will only attack summoned beasts that threaten them. That's why they stand back and watch the show so easily, that's why. But fighting games are completely different. Professionals are not just abyss monsters. Why should they deal with summoned beasts? If they just kill the summoner, everything will be fine. Besides, apart from warriors, there is no perfect profession. It requires both abyss and fighting. How is it possible? Wenren Qingyu analyzed. This was because Zheng Yu was not with them, so she dared to analyze it so brazenly. Because at this time Zheng Yu was near the mouth of the spring, observing something. Zheng Yu is fishing for corpses. The goblin general and the twin fire demons are fighting. Zheng Yu was responsible for fishing out the female body and completing the task. This job cannot be left to others, because only the professional who fishes out the female corpse can obtain the mission props and enter the ice-free lake. Use the rope at the edge of the well to make a live lasso and throw it down. I found the unfrozen water surface under the well, and a pale woman's head was exposed in the water. Don't be surprised, I will take you to where you should go now. Although he had been mentally prepared for it, it was indeed his first time to do this kind of thing, and he was still a little unfamiliar. There are also some taboos in my heart. The battle ahead was coming to an end. The human skin spider that was knocked unconscious by the goblin general in the ring of fire continued to be burned away by the flames. The blood volume is close to zero. There was no intact skin left on his body, and it was all burned to a terrifying appearance. Just as the goblin general was preparing to deliver the final blow to the human skin spider. A harsh sound directly interrupted the goblin general's attack. Ah, the sound was like the screams of thousands of people. The human skin spider began to seep blood from its body. Gray shadows appeared all around. A chill came over my face. Zheng Yu couldn't help but shudder. He actually ignored the flame halo of the twin fire demons. Zheng Yu looked at the human skin spider. That cold air is not cold air at all, but cold resentment. Ah, the screams continued. Blood came out of the goblin general's eyes and ears, and the word, hurt, appeared above his head. Minus 1259. Minus 1141. Two high amounts of damage appeared. Zheng Yu was so frightened that he quickly told the goblin general to retreat. This damage is already very high. You must know that the level 8 goblin general's upper limit of health is only 9,900. Just hearing the screams deducted more than 2,000 damage. Fortunately, the damage range of this resentment was not large. Not only was Zheng Yu not injured, but also the twin fire demons who were more than 10 meters away from the human skin spider were not hurt. Then, those resentments entered the body of the human skin spider. Click, click, click. The human skin spider suddenly increases in size. The blood volume suddenly recovered by two thirds. This is triggering a brutal mechanism. Brutal mechanism, an ability possessed by all bosses, bottoms out the blood and starts the second phase. The ability that should only be available to bosses actually appears on elite monsters. After the resentment enters the body, the human skin spider displays an aura that avoids strangers. 
It is also true that strangers should not get close, because as long as you get close to the human skin spider, you will be hurt by resentment and your health will drop. This is like the abyss of nightmares. Jung Yu complained. This time he also understood why the guide said that the best way was to escape with the female corpse instead of killing the human skin spider. The brutal human skin spider can kill people instantly. Jung Yu immediately gave General Goblin a bottle of 1000 recovery potion and finally pulled the female body out of the well. You have obtained the, frozen crazy mother. A prompt came out. This heralds the cold street abyss, entering the final stage. Just send this female corpse to the depths of the forest, and you can almost meet the real boss of the nightmare level difficulty of cold street abyss. Jung Yu guessed that it was probably a child. Because the hints have been given very clearly. Brother Yu, do we want to leave? Later, Dao Qian shouted nervously. Because after Jung Yu pulled the female corpse out of the well, the roars of various cold corpses rang out around the forest. All Hanji were dispatched. Jung Yu said, Let's go. It's impossible to stay here. Cold corpses appear from every corner of the forest. If they stay here, they will be trapped. There are too many and the goblin general can't protect them. Jung Yu threw the female body to the goblin general. Carry it, don't lose it. Yes. The goblin general took over the female corpse. Jung Yu added, Don't let the human skin spiders get close to the twin fire demons, let the shield soldiers go up and hit them. The twin fire monsters are the most important output. As long as they can withstand a few waves of attacks from the human skin spiders and delay the twin fire demons for enough time, tens of thousands of HP will be burned out in no time. The human skin spiders on the nightmare level are extremely fast. They can throw away the cold corpses, but they cannot escape the pursuit of the human skin spiders. The only solution is to kill it immediately. After receiving the order, a shield soldier in the goblin combat team stood directly on the spot with his shield. Stand up to the human skin spider. Minus 658. Minus 699. Minus 644. As soon as it entered the range of the human skin spider's resentment, a series of numbers appeared above the goblin's head. Jung Yu breathed a sigh of relief after seeing the damage value. Fortunately, the shield goblin has a good defense. Resentment corrosion caused more than a thousand damage to the goblin general, but only more than 600 damage to the goblin shield soldier. The shield goblin raised his shield in front of the human skin spider without fear of death. Roar. The human skin spider now exudes an extremely cruel aura, and attacks without any rules. It will attack crazily as long as it is a living creature in front of it. It roared and charged at the shield goblin. A burst of biting. Minus 5489. The shield goblin was torn into pieces. A split second. My day. Not only Dao Qian and others, but also Jung Yu exclaimed. If this was a professional, he would die immediately. Goblin Shield Soldier is a summoned object and can be summoned repeatedly, so it doesn't hurt if it dies. But the combat power of the brutal human skin spider is really frightening. No wonder no one has passed the nightmare level abyss. The monster that instantly kills people is not a boss, but an elite monster. Who can pass this? Dao Qian yelled as he watched the second shield soldier being torn into pieces. Stop yelling and run away. Jung Yu took the lead in fleeing. There is nothing we can do, there are too many cold corpses. Densely packed, swarming, this scene has the feeling of being surrounded by zombies at the end of the world. The goblin combat team needs to deal with the toughest human skin spiders. Even if they have time, they will not be able to stop such a large number of cold corpses this time. Fire demon, fight quickly, escape. Jung Yu urged. The twin fire demons and the goblin general retreated while throwing fireballs and shooting arrows at the human skin spider. Call. The twin fire demons were very angry. It thought it was finally time to show off. Unexpectedly, we encountered a difficult situation. The flames burn. Two fireballs shot towards the human skin spider. Boom. Boom. Exploded in the human skin spider's face. Minus 3548. Minus 3666. Continue. Now only the twin fire demons can deal high damage. The third shield goblin was also torn apart by the human skin spider. 
However, the twin fire monsters also need energy to release their spells, and the flame halo also causes lower damage due to the long time of release. At this moment, the goblin wizard inserted his fingers into his chest. Remove a bone from the chest. Place on the top of the fluted staff. An obscure spell sounded. A ray of purple light shone on the twin fire demons. The next moment, the twin fire demons returned to their full state, and the flames burned vigorously again. Boom. The flames were a terrifying purple color. All the cold corpses that were close to the twin fire demons were turned into ashes. In the realm of flames, cold corpses are not allowed to enter. The twin fire demons accepted the life sacrifice from the goblin wizard, and their overall strength increased. Improve your body shape. Damage increased. Increased blood volume. Duration 1 minute. The goblin wizard took two shots in total. One time was the sleeping curse, which stopped the attack of the human skin spider. Now is the time again. Sacrifice your life to enhance the overall strength of the twin fire demons. I saw that the size of the twin fire demons increased, and the flames changed from the original red to the current deep purple. Any cold corpse that entered the range of the flame halo would be burned to ashes within a few seconds. Level 5 cold corpses with low blood volume will directly turn into ashes when entering the flame halo. A cold corpse around level 10 with high HP can only survive for 5 seconds at most. Kill Elite Hanji LV.10 and gain 921 experience points. Kill Elite Hanji LV.6 and gain 321 experience points. Kill Elite Hanji LV.5 and gain 129 experience points. Kill Elite Hanji LV.7 and gain 503 experience points. A series of experiences are added. The experience bar grows crazily. In just one minute, the experience increased by nearly 3000. It's only a little bit away from being upgraded to level 9. Hanji continued to die and his experience continued to increase, which made Jung Yu want to stay here and gain experience. But Jung Yu also knew that only with the sacrifice bonus of the Goblin Wizard, the Twin Fire Demons could achieve this level. Once there is no bonus from the Goblin Wizard, the Twin Fire Demons will soon lose energy. Facing the cold corpses that kept popping up in the forest, the Twin Fire Demons with only the 1 minute wizard bonus couldn't resist them. Kill the human skin spider and we retreat. Jung Yu said to the Twin Fire Demons. The human skin spider is the most important. The human skin spider closest to the Twin Fire Demons was bombarded by fire spells. Originally, the energy of the Twin Fire Demons had reached the limit and they were unable to release their skills. However, with the life sacrifice of the Goblin Wizard, they were able to regain all their energy. A set of spells were all thrown to the Human Skin Spider. Double Fireball. Double Flame Cage. Double Fire Damage. Boom. The Human Skin Spider was directly wrapped in purple flames, black smoke emitted, and the strong and pungent smell of roasted rubber spread out. Kill the Elite Human Skin Spider LV.15 and gain 2691 experience points. Congratulations. Get the armor top human skin spider armor, gold level LV.10. Congratulations. Obtain the armor hat human skin spider hat, gold level LV.10. Congratulations. Get the armor pants human skin spider pants, gold level LV.10. Level LV.8 right pointing arrow LV.9 6800 5298 experience points are needed before upgrading. HP 1100 right pointing arrow 1410 450 equipment attributes. Magic power 330 right pointing arrow 340 150 equipment attributes. Intelligence 95 right pointing arrow 105 35 equipment attributes. Strength. 20 right pointing arrow 22, 2 equipment attributes. Agility. 16 right pointing arrow 17. Free attribute points remaining, 10. Not bad. Jung Yu was very happy looking at the 3 pieces of gold level equipment. At level 10, gold grade equipment is already considered the highest grade equipment. A piece of gold grade equipment at level 10, no matter which profession it is, will cost around 1 million. Equipment premium is one thing. There is also a reason for speculation with businessmen. 
but the more important reason is that level 10 gold level equipment can be used until level 20. As long as you can safely pass through the level 10 to 20 stage, you can truly be considered a professional. Most wealthy professionals are willing to pay this amount. Jung Yu looked at these three pieces of gold level equipment. Armor top, human skin spider armor. Wearing level, LV.10. Wearing requirements, any profession. Grade, gold. Attributes, HP plus 4000, physical defense plus 15%, magic defense plus 15%. Equipment effect. When attacked, the human skin spider armor will absorb 10% of the damage. Set effect. Human skin spider 3-piece set top hat trousers. 4000 HP. Jung Yu was stunned. The HP added by a piece of equipment is more than double his current HP. It's a pity that the HP of the equipment cannot be converted into talents, otherwise the twin fire demons would be able to be upgraded to the 4th level. Jung Yu turned to Dao Qian and Wu Zong and asked, how much blood do you two have now? Dao Qian said, 4290. Wu Zong said in more detail, I just reached level 6, and my blood volume is now 5490. Why are you more than a thousand taller than me? Dao Qian was surprised. Wu Zong explained, My highest potential is my physical fitness. The higher my physical potential, the higher the upper limit of my blood volume growth. Monk is a blood ox profession second only to paladin in blood volume. Zheng Yu estimated that when they upgraded to level 10, they would probably have 8 or 9,000 health points. With a piece of gold level equipment, an increase of 4,000 health points would not be so outrageous. Equipment is the most important source of combat power for professionals. It also increases physical resistance and magic resistance by 15%, and can even absorb 10% additional damage. It is a very good equipment with good attributes. Set effect. Jung Yu saw the last entry for equipment. It's actually a set. And when it explodes, three pieces will explode directly. There's something about this human skin spider. Armor, hat, human skin spider hat. Wearing level, LV.10. Wearing requirements, any profession. Grade, gold. Attributes, HP plus 1500, energy plus 10%. Energy recovery speed plus 10%. Equipment effect. When the energy of the wearer or the wearer's summons is too low, the energy will be replenished once, and the cooling time is 2 hours. Set effect. Human skin spider 3-piece set top hat trousers. A hat to increase energy. The shape of the hat is completely made of black suede spider skin. Jung Yu was worried that the human skin spider suit was really made of that disgusting human scalp. Fortunately it doesn't look that disgusting. Jung Yu doesn't hate spiders, he hates spiders made of human skin. Armor, trousers, human skin spider trousers. Wearing level, LV.10. Wearing requirements, any profession. Grade, gold. Attributes, HP plus 2000, movement speed plus 15%, agility plus 5. Equipment effect. Negative effects such as deceleration, binding, and silt are reduced by 20%, jumping power is increased by 30%, and immunity to all deceleration, binding effects from spider webs. Set effect. Human skin spider 3-piece set top hat trousers. Shoes are average, because it cannot be used on summoned beasts. This is also the difficulty for summoners. Apart from intelligence, the effects of equipment can rarely be applied to summoned beasts. After all, summoning beasts is technically a skill. Increased blood volume and increased speed have little effect on skills. It's not without reason that summoners have been abandoned over the years. It's not that no one wants to prove for summoners. In fact, the summoner profession itself is not very good. All three pieces of equipment are level 10 equipment, and Jung Yu cannot wear them for the time being. But he still saw the effect of the three-piece suit. Set effect. Human Skin Spider 3-Piece Set Top Hat Trousers Wearing, Human Skin Spider Armor, Human Skin Spider Hat, and, Human Skin Spider Trousers, at the same time will activate the set attributes, Intelligence plus 5-0, Strength plus 5-0, Agility plus 5. And activate the set effect, Resentment, Resentment will mark the last enemy that attacks you. Your next attack will add a resentment attack to the target. The attack value is the critical hit damage value, but you will not enjoy the critical hit bonus. 
Resentment. Jung Yu remembered that this should be a skill of the human skin spider. No wonder the human skin spider can directly kill a shield goblin with 6000 HP in one bite. It must be the resentment effect. It can deal critical damage, but it is not a real critical hit, it just has a numerical value. But it's enough. The effect of this set can make the goblin generals burst even higher. At the same time, the flames on the twin fire demons also changed from purple to red. The goblin wizard's life sacrifice effect disappears. Let's withdraw. Jung Yu directly took the weak twin fire demons back to the summoner's space. The goblin shield soldiers are broken. Goblin general and wolf cavalry are leading the way. Jung Yu and others ran all the way towards the ice free lake. The shield soldiers are all dead. The two wolf cavalrymen were surrounded just now and didn't come out. The goblin wizard sacrificed his life. There are only five archers and five dead soldiers left. After escaping the siege of the cold zombie group, when they were about to approach the ice free lake, the cold zombie group did not continue to pursue them. They seemed to be afraid of the lake. This gave Jung Yu and others time to rest. Jung Yu checked the battle damage. The goblin general lost half of his health, and the giant wolf was injured in his right leg. Most of the goblin combat team was lost, but fortunately there were still five dead soldiers. These five dead soldiers were Jung Yu's trump card to prevent the boss in the frozen lake from freezing. The twin fire monsters are exhausted and will be restored in the summoner's space. Jung Yu looked around. It was discovered that the group of cold corpses had long since disappeared, and there was no sign of life on the silent lake surface. Take a rest first, and wait until the twin fire demons have recovered their energy before going to the ice-free lake. No one commented on Jung Yu's plan. Jung Yu said that during the break, Dao Qian and others had already started preparing chairs and food. In fact, it's not just Jung Yu and others like this. So are the other teams. An abyss can last for several hours, and it is said that the longest abyss can last for more than a month. Resting midway to restore physical strength, energy, and repair injuries is a must. Unless it's the kind of relentless pursuit into the abyss. Jung Yu took out a bunch of medicines from the inventory. The best pork is thrown directly to the giant wolf. The giant wolf swallowed it up in two or three bites. The injuries on his legs are visibly recovering. Jung Yu selected different recovery potions and restored Xiao Sikian's blood volume to the goblin general, replenishing the blood volume to full. The twin fire demons still stay in the summoner's space. Because the summoner's space is the place where summoned beasts recover the fastest. I'm going, I'm exhausted. Dao Qian was lying in the tent that had been set up. Zheng Yu said with a smile, You are so tired, and I didn't let you fight. Dao Qian chuckled, Isn't it because I have been lying down for a long time and suddenly feel uncomfortable running? Ah, facing Dao Qian's trick, Zheng Yu laughed. While Wu Zong was preparing food, he said, Now I can feel the difficulty of the nightmare level abyss. With the number of cold corpses just now, normal professionals can't get through it. Kei Ying, who was cutting fruit, also said, I think the hardest thing is not the cold corpse group. The professionals who really dare to enter the nightmare level abyss are also the best. They should have a way to break out. The most difficult thing is the human skin spider. The speed is fast, the damage is high, and the brutal state can kill anyone with just one bite. Who can pass? No wonder Jiangshui City has not produced S level professionals for so many years, but no one has passed the level. It is really difficult. Jung Yu also asked at this time, by the way, didn't the previous S-class professionals try to enter the nightmare level abyss? The rewards in the nightmare abyss are very generous. It can be said that if you can clear the nightmare level abyss once in each stage, you can lay a good equipment foundation for the next stage of upgrade. Because of the nightmare level abyss, the top equipment in this stage must be exploded. The top piece of equipment at stage 10 is a platinum warrior weapon. It was erupted from the nightmare level abyss of other cities. It is said that the platinum weapon changed hands at auction for a price as high as 20 million after the warrior changed class at level 25. A level 10 weapon priced at tens of millions is already outrageous. What's even more outrageous is that this weapon has now been sold for 40 million yuan after changing hands several times. And was given the title of, the strongest warrior weapon at level 10. 
In other words, with this weapon, any warrior with no talent can easily upgrade to the professional level 3. This is why Jung Yu must clear the nightmare level copy. Although the state will provide resources and subsidies, it is said to be unlimited. But it's not really unlimited. Just so you don't lack resources. Rather than having all resources. Like that, level 10 strongest warrior weapon, everyone has to rely on their own abilities. Unfortunately, the nightmare level abyss is too difficult. It is difficult for non-SS level talented professionals to have a chance to clear the level. Even SS level professionals have to be matched with the most suitable teammates to have a chance. It can only be said that there are reasons for the outside world to doubt Zheng Yu. Dao Qian and others, who followed Zheng Yu into the nightmare level abyss, were able to do so with enough strength. Dao Qian believes that no S level professional has ever tried it. When we entered the nightmare abyss before, there were announcements, but I couldn't find any news about S level professionals entering the nightmare abyss in previous years. Wen Ren Ching Yu looked at Zheng Yu with interest and said, Then you have to ask our high profile captain about this. Plan announcements cost money. Dao Qian. Dao Qian looked at Zheng Yu, seeking the answer. Zheng Yu spread his hands and said, If I didn't announce it, who would have known that I had entered the abyss of nightmares? They thought I was afraid of teaming up with Li Feng, so of course I had to announce it. The corner of Dao Qian's mouth twitched. I thought the announcement was about passive skills, but it turned out to be active skills. How much did it cost? Kei Ying asked curiously. Push it directly to their faces, a total of 50,000. Kei Ying. Kei Ying felt that 50,000 yuan was a bit of a waste just to make an announcement. But Zheng Yu felt it was worth it. Why should I keep a low profile? I am so strong. If I don't keep a low profile, wouldn't it be a waste of my talent? Zheng Yu said half jokingly. But Dao Qian and Wenren Ching Yu felt that Zheng Yu's words were not sincere. Wenren Ching Yu thought of something, and then asked, You said before that you didn't have a resurrection cross. I thought you were kidding. After all, the subsidy for an S-level talent includes at least one life-saving resurrection item. So, Jiangshui City's resources department didn't give you the resources. Zheng Yu raised his head and glanced at Wen Ren Qingyu, you know quite a lot. Wen Ren Qingyu shrugged. Before my family declined, the Wen Ren family was considered a first-line family. I still know these things. Zheng Yu didn't know whether it was true or not. Zheng Yu didn't ask what kind of family Wenren Ching Yu belonged to and why it declined. Everyone has a secret, just like they won't ask why Zheng Yu's summoned beast is so strong or why the goblin wolf cavalry turned into a goblin general. It would be rude to ask again. Wenren Ching Yu's guess was right, his subsidy has not been received yet. The reason why Zheng Yu spent 50,000 yuan to make such an announcement was because he was angry. Logically speaking, as an S-level talented professional, subsidies and resources should have been in place long ago. It should be given to him before he enters the abyss. Others may be slower, but S-level talents will definitely be given to him as soon as possible. This is a kind of respect for those with S-level talents. Why not? Zheng Yu also knows. No one has contacted him. The mayor of Jiangshui City didn't think of him until he broke the abyss record. What's this? It's clearly differential treatment. Why is Li Feng, an A-level talented professional, able to clear the level so quickly and set a new record for Ordinary Abyss? Because the supplies have already arrived. A-level talent people all have supplies, but he doesn't. Just because Zheng Yu didn't say it didn't mean that he didn't know, and it didn't mean that he wasn't angry. He could afford the money for the announcement. I also want to warn those people who have catastrophic resources that I hold a grudge. I hold grudges very much, and I don't like to swallow my anger. Since I can tell everyone something, there is no need to hide it. Did you know? After we refreshed the historical record of Simple Level Abyss, the mayor came to me directly. Wenren Qingyu asked, Did I call you directly? Zheng Yu smiled and then shook his head. Let the head teacher notify me and ask me to take the initiative to find him. Wenren Qingyu. Zheng Yu said with a very understanding attitude, Of course I understand, Jiangshui City does not have many resources. If they are given to Li Feng, how can there be resources for a summoner? So I really want to know now, if I clear the nightmare abyss again, how will the mayor respond? Wenren Qingyu thought for a moment and said, 
I remember the surname of the director of Jiangshui City's Department of Resources as Li. Zheng Yu said with a smile on his face, I know. His son is Li Feng. The mayoral structure should not be so small. Dao Qian asked doubtfully. To be able to become the mayor, the professional level must be at least level 45. An official of one party not only has the purpose of political management of the area he is in charge of, but also has the purpose of protecting and suppressing it with force. The professional level means everything. Not necessarily. You must know that the resources provided by the country to professionals with S-level talents and above are not just once. The subsequent resources are very amazing. And the mayor needs performance, and he also wants to upgrade. After level 40, every level up is very difficult. Jiangshui City's performance in the past few years has not been very good. Although you have an S-level talent, some people may have made a fuss about the summoner profession. There is a high probability that the resources are already with Li Feng. Wenren Qingyu analyzed rationally. Zheng Yu also nodded. It is impossible for the mayor to swallow up my resources, but this matter is impossible without his nod. It is a very simple comparison principle, an S-level talent, but a sewer. An A-level talent, but a popular profession, and the father of this profession is also the minister of the Ministry of Resources. Zheng Yu shrugged. With this relationship, the answer is self-evident. Dao Qian asked in confusion, isn't the Ministry of Resources under the jurisdiction of the mayor? Why does the mayor want to curry favor with the Minister of Resources? Wenren Qingyu shook his head. First of all, you got the relationship wrong. The Ministry of Resources is the Ministry of Resources and the mayor is the mayor. There is no superior subordinate relationship between the two. In fact, the resources department is more important. You know the reason. After all, it is in charge of resources. Besides, you use the word flattery incorrectly. First, the mayor needs performance. Judging from Zheng Yu's career, although Li Fang's qualifications are lower than Zheng Yu's, he is a solid warrior career, which highlights his stability. Second, the mayor and Li Nan complement each other. A few years ago, before my family was lonely, I had heard of Li Nan. You can understand that, coming to Jiangshui City is him as for training, and he will go back soon. I see. When Wen Ren Qingyu explained it, Dao Qian understood everything. It's not that the mayor's pattern is small, it's that their pattern is small. He was a well-connected person, and he analyzed the pros and cons very accurately, yet he offended a summoner who was unknown, had no background, and had no future. It is better to give resources to the minister of resources who comes down from above, make connections, and stabilize connections. You can also get an A-level talented warrior. Although the talent is not high, it is stable. Regardless of whether the resources are given to Zheng Yu or not, it is, reasonable. The resources are not in Zheng Yu's hands, and he does not have the summoner's guild to help him deal with these matters. He can say whatever the other party wants to say. What the head teacher said on the phone was that the mayor would personally award the award. But Zheng Yu knew very well that the mayor found that Zheng Yu, a summoner, didn't seem that bad, but the resources had been allocated. In order to stabilize him, he had to go through a process. Draw a big pie and give some compensation. That's almost it. It is because of this, reasonableness, that Zheng Yu is very angry. Why should he give something that should belong to him to others? So even if Zheng Yu had time, he still refused the mayor's invitation to meet. Holding a grudge, there is no way, Zheng Yu is not a generous person. It doesn't matter if you want the resources or not but what belongs to him cannot be given to others. Even if he doesn't want it, there is no reason for these people to grab it. Comma. Meanwhile, the mayor's office. Zhou Yun said with some surprise while listening to the phone call. He refused to see me. The head teacher's voice on the other end of the phone was cautious. Zheng Yu said that he is going into the abyss and time is of the essence. After he comes out of the abyss, I will ask him to find you. The head teacher tried to speak as smoothly as possible. Mayor Zhou Yun smiled. Oh, this kid still holds a grudge. Isn't it because the resources were not given to him? Okay, when he comes out of the abyss, I will just compensate him. There was silence on the other end of the phone for a long time. Then I heard the head teacher ask in a strange voice, Mayor, I want to know, are you really not giving any resources to Zheng Yu? 
The tone was not as respectful as before, more like, questioning. Mayor Zhou Yun frowned. He heard teacher Zheng Yu's tone on the other end of the phone was a bit harsh and wanted to get angry. Who do you think you are to question me? But after thinking about it, I still held back. I also know that the other person's mood may not be very good right now. He patiently explained, Teacher Zhang, you also know that the resource subsidy needs to be rated and reviewed. After evaluation by experts at all levels in Jiangshui City, it is unanimously believed that Li Feng has greater potential. Although Zheng Yu has an S-level talent, his profession is a summoner after all. We in Jiangshui City have been at the bottom for many years and we can no longer waste resources because of Zheng Yu. There are really not many resources. You have to understand the government and understand our decision. The head teacher on the other end of the phone, after listening to the mayor's words, said quietly, experts, must be right. Mayor Zhou Yun began to sound a little impatient, Comrade Zhang Cheng, let me say it again, this is a decision after evaluation, and the Provincial Ministry of Resources has agreed and issued it. If you have any opinions, you can ask the province or district. Zhou Yun was very annoyed. Although he is the mayor, there are many things he cannot control himself. Especially in terms of political performance. Doesn't he want to give resources to Zheng Yu, an S-level talent? It's not that I don't want to, it's that I can't. There are four S-level talent resources issued by the state. One for level 1, one for level 10, one for level 25, and one for level 40. All four rewards are very generous. But they all doubted whether Zheng Yu could be upgraded to level 10. Send it the first time, who will you send it to the second time? Are we going to tell the superiors like last year that Jiangshui cities, key cultivators, were useless again? What future can a summoner have, if this resource is really wasted? It just so happened that the son of the Minister of Resources of Jiangshui City was an A-level warrior, so this was the best of both worlds. As for Zheng Yu, he is just a summoner, and soon he will be lost to everyone. His approach of allocating resources to Li Feng will be praised by everyone as the right choice. He also knew that Zheng Yu and Zheng Yu's teacher would definitely have complaints. Therefore, as a mayor, he could personally call Zheng Yu's class teacher and patiently explain the causes and consequences of these things, which was enough to give them face. What else do you want? Do you really think he, the mayor, owes them anything? He wasn't lying, because after Zheng Yu's S-level talent summoner profession was reported, several other departments, including but not limited to the Ministry of Education, High School Principals, Resources Department, etc., came to him. There were a lot of meetings and a lot of planning. The final decision was reported to the Provincial Department and a special exception was made. The resources would not be given to S-level Zheng Yu, but to A-level Li Feng. Zhou Yun saw that there was no sound on the other end of the phone, so he said earnestly, the province and the ministry have agreed, what can you do for me? I can only guarantee you that Zheng Yu will be compensated to a certain extent, but the subsequent resources must be handed over to Li Feng. You have to understand me and understand the provinces and districts. Nowadays, there are more and more professionals, and the number of professionals with high talents is gradually increasing. Zheng Yu's S-level talent is really not rare. That's it, think about it yourself. Hang up the phone. Zhou Yun called his secretary. Prepare a resource, come from us, don't use the resources of the resource department, prepare it for Zheng Yu. He was indeed at fault for this matter, so he still planned to make it up to Zheng Yu. But the secretary said, Mayor, I think there is no need to prepare. Um, Zhou Yun looked up questioningly. The secretary said, Teacher Zhang Cheng probably didn't tell you that the abyss Zheng Yu entered this time was a nightmare level abyss. Zhou Yun was stunned for a moment. He wants to die. The secretary did not answer, but continued, before entering the nightmare level dungeon, he spent money to make an announcement. At that time, all the professionals in the Cold Street Secret Hall knew that Zheng Yu had entered the nightmare abyss. Zhou Yun had a strange expression on his face, this kid is quite angry. Are you planning to die to vent your dissatisfaction? He didn't think Zheng Yu had the ability to clear the nightmare level abyss. The Cold Street Abyss has been in Jiangshui City for more than 10 years, and no one has ever cleared the nightmare level abyss. Not to mention Zheng Yu is a summoner. At this time, Zhou Yun also realized why teacher Zhang Cheng's attitude was so strange just now. 
He was still respectful before, but suddenly he started to question the tone. It turned out that he knew that Zheng Yu had entered the nightmare level abyss, and it was probably difficult for him to come out alive. Zheng Yu had no money to borrow, a poor family, and no resources, so he entered the nightmare abyss without any preparation. Isn't this a suicide? Mayor Zhou Yun laughed and didn't think this was a bad thing. You are going to prepare an obituary. Do you know how to write it? The secretary's many years of work experience are not in vain, and naturally he is very aware of the twists and turns involved. He said, I will write more sincerely. It is a pity that Jiangshui City has lost an S-level talent. In addition, the matter of Zheng Yu spending money to make announcements was exaggerated as much as possible, exaggerating that Zheng Yu was arrogant and arrogant because of his S-level talent. In the end, it was his arrogance that killed him. Let's also write down the shortcomings of the summoner. He cannot leave the battle normally, and the resurrection cross cannot be used. And I will write Li Feng's results on the side. Zhou Yun shook his head and said, don't write about Li Feng, pick it out. Clear. The secretary wrote, avoid suspicion, in the notebook. Prepare the resources I asked you to prepare just now and give them directly to Zheng Yu's teacher. I remember that Zhang Cheng has a child who is in the first grade of high school, right? Let him do whatever he wants with this resource. Clear. Cold Street Abyss. Zheng Yu lay on the recliner and closed his eyes to relax. Because there is no internet connection in the abyss, I can't even browse the forum. I can only drink some coffee and have a good rest. I rested for about two hours. The twin fire demons regained their energy. The summoner can see the status data of the summoned beast. Goblin General's mental and physical condition reached 98% after taking a nap. All blood volume is restored. The Goblin General did not enter the summoner's space to rest, but this goblin is labeled as a battle-hardened veteran, and endurance is its advantage. My mental and physical condition are always in good condition. This veteran is used to seeing wars and fighting. He has been wandering between life and death all year round. Goblin General will always remain vigilant and serious. Goblin General won't really let himself relax, so he won't be able to reach 100% status. On the other hand, the twin fire demons quickly recovered to 100% in Zheng Yu's summoner space. The label of the Gemini fire demon is, young, lively, energetic and militant elements. Youth is its capital. Warlike nature is the character of the Gemini fire demon. But it also caused the Gemini fire demon to consume quickly and not know how to control the battle. There would be a situation where the energy was exhausted and the skills could not be released. Lack of endurance, but all skills are continuous skills. We have to find a way to improve the combat durability of the twin fire demons. Zheng Yu thought. After level 10, the summoner will get the summoner's exclusive training skills, which can cultivate summoned beasts, modify the characteristics of the summoned beast, cultivate attributes, and refine skills. Finally, it reaches the point where it is suitable for fighting. Because it is too cumbersome, and the cost is far greater than the benefits of the summoned beast's actual combat ability. Many summoners have a hard time getting through the novice stage and eventually choose to give up the summoner profession after reaching level 10. But for Zheng Yu, no matter how he is trained, his talent will ultimately determine his combat effectiveness. Zheng Yu doesn't have to worry at all. At this time, Dao Qian and others also put away camping equipment, tents, campfires, food, hot water and other items. Easy and fast. Zheng Yu felt a little emotional. Where can I find such a good teammate? It would be great if you were at the same level as me, so that I don't need to find teammates again for dungeons after level 10. Although Dao Qian and Wu Zong are not strong. But brother Dao Qian understands Zheng Yu's thoughts very well. Dao Qian often does things for him before Zheng Yu even opens his mouth. Just like when Zheng Yu said he wanted to compete for the rankings, Dao Qian started recruiting teammates without any hesitation. Wu Zong's barbecue technology has advanced by leaps and bounds. Especially the roasted kidneys, the heat is just right and the flavor is good. He knows how to make tea when it rains. At first glance, Kei Ying looks like a child who often works and packs things very quickly. The key is, these two girls are so good looking. She knows how to work, is good looking, and is obedient. Isn't this better than those little fairies? The higher the professional level, 
the higher the status, the higher the status, the higher the status, the higher the status, the more arrogant. This is especially true for female professionals. It's outrageous enough when you don't have the ability. With the blessing of profession, the assistance of appearance, and the character of a little fairy, is it still possible? Jung Yu feels that it may be difficult to meet such, obedient, and, well-behaved, teammates in the future. Brother Yu, it's okay. We are all at level 6 now. After clearing the nightmare level abyss, we will be able to reach level 7. Upgrading to level 10 is just a matter of two simple copies. Dao Qian has already calculated it. Level 2 abyss is between level 10 and level 20. Even if you clear another nightmare level dungeon, you won't be able to surpass level 20. There is still a chance, hee hee. And it is said that after level 20, hundreds of thousands of experience are required for each level up. We have plenty of opportunities to embrace you. Jung Yu couldn't bear to part with this group of soy sauce, who would cause trouble. Dao Qian and the others couldn't bear to part with Jung Yu's thigh. According to Jung Yu's method of clearing the abyss, the level will increase very quickly, and it is impossible to rest in order to compete for the rankings. It is impossible for them to keep rubbing Jung Yu's abyss. But I can hug you once. At least at the level 2 abyss stage, you can still hold it. After everything was packed up, Jung Yu summoned the twin fire demons who had recovered, and the goblin general stood at the front. Jung Yu glanced at the time. Six hours have passed since entering the nightmare level abyss. Now is the final stage of the abyss. The difficult abyss ends at the human skin spider. If the human skin spider cannot be killed, the female body needs to be sent to the middle of the lake. From here, it is a place that no professional in Jiangshui city has ever reached. Zheng Yu threw the training dummy to Dao Qian. Just wait here. If you find something is wrong, you can exit the abyss in time. Let's go. After saying that, Zheng Yu asked a goblin warrior to carry the female corpse, while he and the goblin general sat on the giant wolf and walked into the ice-free lake. The ice-free lake is very shallow. Only halfway up the giant wolf's legs. The surrounding temperature is at least 40 degrees below zero, but the ice-free lake is still rippling and crystal clear. In the center of the ice-free lake, there is a tomb. I don't know whose grave it is. The tomb is not big. Trapped in the middle of the lake. It was half soaked by the lake, but the tip of the grave was still dry. Carrying the female corpse, she walked to the grave without any hindrance. There were no cold corpses, no human skinned monsters, only the bone chilling cold, and the resentment that could be clearly felt. Click. A crisp icing sound came from behind. The temperature dropped sharply. The ice free lake froze instantly when Zheng Yu collapsed onto the grave. A surge of resentment surged out from the graveyard. Zheng Yu quickly retreated and stepped on the frozen lake. The goblin general, the twin fire demons, and the goblin combat team were all ready. Obviously, he has activated the final boss of Cold Street Abyss. Nightmare Abyss, the last monster. Are you also here to persuade me to let them go? A noisy voice sounded from around. It didn't sound like one person's voice, but hundreds of resentful souls shouting at the same time. Zheng Yu quickly backed away and said, I'm just here to put things back where they belong. With that said, he asked the goblin general to put the female body down. But it didn't stop the surrounding temperature from falling. Resentment, cold breath, and angry emotions swirled on this ice-free lake. Call. The twin fire demons increase the temperature of the flame aura and resist the cold. Return everything to its original place. She should stay in that deep well forever and never see the light of day, just like she did to me. Do you also want to plead for her? The voice was shrill and harsh. Full of resentment. Click, click, click. Several cold corpses crawled out around the ice-free lake. Jung Yu's face darkened. Because these cold corpses are at level 15. Dead soldiers, stop them. General Goblin, go directly to dig the grave. A level 15 human skin spider is difficult to kill and a group of level 15 cold corpses is impossible to kill quickly. The boss in the cemetery must be defeated. Only then can we completely clear the nightmare level abyss. The goblin general launched a charge and rushed to the grave at an extremely fast speed. Roar. The cold corpse blocked the goblin general. Boom. Hanji used his body to block the charge of the wolf cavalry. The level 15 cold corpse was directly knocked away. 
Minus 18,451. The level 9 Goblin General has an attack power of 656, a Wolf Cavalry attack coefficient of 27 times, and can directly deal nearly 20,000 damage. Directly take away two-thirds of the blood volume. The blood volume of Han Ji here is not high. Zheng Yu retreated to the back and observed the battle situation. This is the fighting method of summoning professionals. Not only summoners, but also druids who summon beasts and necromancers who summon undead creatures all use this fighting method. The further back the better. If the professional had to enter the ice-free lake to trigger the boss mechanism, he would not be willing to enter the ice-free lake. Twin fire demons, dead warriors, and archers, clear the way for the goblin general. Call. The two fire monsters release flame halos and fireballs to deal damage and reduce Hanji's health. Goblin archers harass behind and compensate for the damage. The goblin death warrior used his body to block the Hanji, buying the goblin general time. The goblin general jumped up and hit the grave bag with his heavy hammer. Stop hiding. The cold corpse you control can't stop me at all. If you hide again, I'll dig your grave. Boom. The goblin general's hammer fell. But it was forcefully taken by a pale little hand. It's finally out. Jung Yu stared at the pale hand with empty eyes. It was the size of a child's arm, estimated to be about 7 or 8 years old. The fingers were pale, the fingernails were full of blood and dirt, and the skin was covered with a layer of white like other cold corpses. Frost. And its data also appeared in front of Jung Yu. The Cursed Shao Qi. Level. LV.15. Level. Level 1 Curse. Source of Curse. God of Cold Hell. HP. 200,000. Attack power, 1500. Skill I, Absolute 0. Skill 2, Biting Cold. Skill 3, Lord of the Ice Free Lake. Skill IV. Skill V. Tisk, 200,000 blood volume. It's somewhat scary. No wonder few people clear the nightmare level abyss. Just this 200,000 blood volume is enough to scare away the so called genius professionals. The God of Cold Hell. Jung Yu looked at the word that appeared on the nightmare boss, and it was actually not unfamiliar. Same as the game, this temple, abyss, and digitized professional who suddenly descended on the earth also has a big background. That is, going against God. According to the stories told in other nightmare level abyss dungeons, one piece of information can be obtained, that is, the abyss is a byproduct of the appearance of God. For example, the child named, Xiao Qi, in front of me. He has the ability to freeze everything and create cold corpses, but he ends up lying in a coffin in an ice-free lake. God's favor is not a blessing, but a curse. This is all the information Jung Yu knows about the abyss. After all, even Nan Muyun, the highest level, is only level 71 and has not yet come into contact with the real abyss. Click. A crisp freezing sound appeared on the goblin general. With the boss Xiao Qi crawling out of the grave. The surrounding temperature dropped again, and directly freeze the arrival of the nearest goblin. The effect of the ice crystal pendant has been triggered. It is immune to one freeze. The effect enters the cooling state and will take effect one minute later. The effect of equipped ice crystal pendant takes effect. Although this necklace is only level 5, it is very effective in the cold street abyss. Not only is it immune to freezing once every minute, but it also adds 10 points of ice resistance and a 20% slowing effect. Without this necklace, it would be impossible for the goblin to still be standing in front of Xiao Qi. Boom. After the ice was lifted, the goblin general didn't say anything. He didn't even wait for the boss Xiao Qi to crawl out completely, and gave the outstretched hand a hard hammer. One time. Twice. Three times. It was very powerful, but it didn't even do any damage. Jung Yu frowned. It's normal that there is no damage. After all, the elite monsters in Cold Street Abyss are protected by ice armor. But the problem is that even if there is ice armor, the damage value should still be hit. Even if it's zero damage. Back off. Jung Yu immediately thought of something and asked General Goblin to quickly move away from the only, ground, on the ice-free lake. Ah. But it was still a step too late. A shrill cry sounded from around the cemetery. The once frozen lake was completely shattered, and its original rippling water surface was restored. Jung Yu, who was standing on the lake, entered the water directly. 
Although the depth of the lake only reached Zheng Yu's knees, the bone-chilling cold made Zheng Yu's whole body numb, and a heartbreaking chill spread from his leg bones to his spine. At the same time, the goblin general flew out with his man and wolf. Minus 4187. More than 4000 damage, which directly knocked out nearly half of the goblin general's blood vessels. Plus 1000. Plus 2500. Zheng Yu quickly replenished the blood volume of the goblin general. I found a lot of recovery items in Chef Hanshi's restaurant before, and I just need them now. The reason why there was no damage just now was because the boss Xiao Qi was releasing skills. Biting cold shoots a wave of damage composed of resentment and cold air. When the cold air is condensed, it will not suffer any damage. A skill of the boss. The mechanism is to charge up, and you are invincible while charging up. This mechanism is so disgusting. Zheng Yu complained and drank a bottle of medicine himself. The invisibility potion given by Wenren Qingyu. A biting cold hit the goblin general, causing 4000 damage. If it hit him, the damage would be overflowed. Even if there is a training dummy, you have to do it steadily. If something goes wrong with you, you lose everything. In the distance, Dao Qian and others were shocked when they saw this injury. Dao Qian scolded him directly. He had only seen the goblin general fight the cold corpse before and deal such damage, but he had never seen the goblin suffer such high damage. Isn't this too outrageous? 4000 directly. Kei Ying took a look at her blood volume and murmured, if it were me, I would be killed instantly. No wonder it's so difficult to clear the nightmare level abyss, it's impossible to clear it. Wu Zong worriedly looked at the goblin general who was knocked away, and Zheng Yu who was so cold that he had frost on his body, can this, be defeated? There was silence. Even Dao Qian, who usually had great confidence in Zheng Yu and always supported Zheng Yu unconditionally, did not speak. They were anxious but could do nothing. I can only wait anxiously. And I hope Zheng Yu has the trump card to make a comeback. Comma. Of course Zheng Yu has a trump card. But now is not the time to take action. This is the first move against the Cold Street boss. Ah. The piercing shouting continued. At this time, the boy named Xiao Qi, who was cursed by the god of cold hell, had completely crawled out of his graveyard. And floating in mid-air, surrounded by cold air. The resentment has even turned into visible black smoke, surrounding him. A seven or eight year old boy with his internal organs eviscerated. His face was covered with scars, and one arm was bent at 90 degrees, leaning against his chest in a deformed manner. The chest was completely empty, revealing several sections of severed intestines and minced meat. Fortunately, due to the cold temperature, everything inside was frozen, and there was no sticky plasma or anything like that. Ugly, scary, bloody. But Zheng Yu was worried. That awful cake was, as expected, made from this kid's. It is simply unimaginable how much pain this child suffered during his lifetime. Call. At this time, the twin fire demons had already eliminated two level 15 cold corpses. And adjust the temperature of the flame halo appropriately, return to Zheng Yu, and help Zheng Yu get rid of the cold. Because Zheng Yu is in the invisible stage. Therefore, only the goblin general, the twin fire demons, and the still living goblin combat team can be seen here. Xiao Qi, who is floating in midair, looked at the twin fire demons blankly. It's obvious that he hates fire. You, all deserve to die too. Sounds came from all directions. Horse sounds, tearing sounds, there are men, women, children. Xiao Qi controls the whole Hanji abyss and the dead souls are talking. He rushed directly towards the twin fire demons. The flames made him feel uncomfortable. He could also sense that the twin fire demons were the most threatening existence. Block him. Zheng Yu quickly retreated, enduring the cold and staying away from the twin fire demons to prevent them from being affected. The dead soldiers swarmed forward. Xiao Qi's face full of scars showed an expression of contempt. With a flick of his right hand, the cold air swept over the five dead soldiers like an ice dragon. Crash. Freeze directly. His skills are absolutely zero. Looking at the frozen dead soldier, Xiao Qi's white eyes that had no pupils for a long time showed an extremely contemptuous look. But the next moment, he was stunned. Because only four dead soldiers were frozen here. At some point, another one appeared behind him. Get away. Boom. Before he could react, 
With a loud noise, the dead soldier exploded directly in front of the boss. The purple fire completely enveloped him. Minus 5874. Jung Yu's first trump card. A dead soldier who can use the assassin blink skill and has the ability to self-destruct. Goblin Death's self-destruction damage is actually pretty good. Do about 5000 damage. But facing the boss Xiao Qi with 200,000 health, it is a drop in the bucket. However, the damage caused by self-destruction is not important. The important thing is that the blood of the dead soldier that explodes from the dead soldier's body, is poisonous. Not only is it poisonous, it's also flammable. Goblin Death, not only is not afraid of death, but also has the ability to explode. He takes poison all year round and injects special blood, causing the Goblin Death's blood to become another weapon. Laugh. Blood splattered all over the boss, Xiao Qi. It made a corrosive sound. Minus 109. Minus 125. Minus 158. The damage gradually increases. It pops up 3 or 4 times a second. Call. The death of this dead soldier bought time for the twin fire demons. The flame cage is ready to go. Boom. The flame ignited the purple blood on the boss Xiao Qi's body, and the already corrosive blood burned instantly. Like maggots attached to the bones, it tortured Xiao Qi's skin and body. Minus 258. Minus 269. Minus 3684. Minus 2284. The burning of the dead soldier's poisonous blood, the damage of the flame cage, and the burning of the flame halo, the three types of damage are mixed together. The blood volume of the cold streak boss has dropped visibly to the naked eye. You know, the damage of the twin fire demons is doubled. Nearly 10,000 blood volume per second. This immediately made Dao Qian, fool. The nightmare level abyss is indeed difficult. But Zheng Yu is too perverted. Is this the summoner? Is this a battle between boss and boss? Dao Qian actually didn't think highly of the Gemini fire demon before. After all, he was just a guy responsible for grilling sausages. He didn't expect them to be so powerful. But it's still not enough. Even if the Gemini fire demon currently has the upper hand, Zheng Yu still has four dead men who can stop the cold street boss at any time, giving the Gemini fire demon enough time to deal damage. As long as there is enough time, the twin fire demons can burn everything to death. But when Ren Qingyu still frown. Bosses are all in a brutal state. This cold streak boss has not released any skills yet. If it enters a brutal state, the goblin death warrior cannot stop it. Dao Qian and Wu Zong also looked worried. We must win. All Wu Zongdang can do now is pray. Comma. Ah. There was another piercing cry. The voice full of resentment instantly froze the dead soldiers who were about to approach it. Click. The dead man was frozen to death by the cold on the spot. Didn't explode on his own. Zheng Yu. Okay, okay, let's play like this, right? Zheng Yu originally thought of sending another dead soldier to stop the boss Xiao Qi. The twin fire demons have high output, but are also very fragile. With just one touch, the twin fire demons could die. But I didn't expect that this little boy with his internal organs hollowed out could predict the moving position of the dead man in advance, even if. You can actually evolve countermeasures. It seems that you can't be treated simply as a game boss. The summoned beast goes crazy. Zheng Yu took out his second trump card. It is also his only active skill as a summoner. Summoned beasts go mad, enrage all the summoned beasts of the summoner, causing the summoned beasts to enter a mad state and enhance their overall strength. The skill description is very simple. No numerical values, no coefficients, just a simple introduction. According to what is written in the textbook that is not a textbook, the degree of increase in the summoned beast's madness increases according to the level of the enemy. The stronger the enemy, the stronger the increase, but the corresponding madness duration will be reduced, and it will enter a weak state after the madness ends. The duration of the madness is related to the summoned beast's talent level. The higher the talent, the longer it lasts. This can be regarded as the experience summed up by the author of that textbook after personal practice. The summoned beast goes crazy, the summoner's bottom of the box skill. The summoner profession is very weak, but this summoned beast madness skill is not weak at all. Call. The moment the skill is released, the flames on the twin fire demons instantly turn purple. High level flames double the damage again. 
Ouch. Not only did the twin fire demons go berserk, but the goblin general, giant wolf, death soldier, and goblin archer all went berserk. His eyes went crazy. The breath becomes confused. The biggest change turned out to be the dead soldiers. He was originally very irrational because of his special military type, but now after turning mad, he has completely lost his sanity and turned into a purely crazy monster. Roar. The dead man roared. He stared at the boss, Xiao Qi, with crazy eyes. The look in his eyes filled with only raw desire actually made Xiao Qi feel a little scrupulous. This slight scruple gave the summoned beast a chance to attack. All four dead soldiers flashed in front of the boss Xiao Qi. Boom. The first one explodes. Boom. The second one then exploded. Boom. The third one. Boom. The last one. Four consecutive explosions directly destroyed the boss Xiao Qi's 30,000 HP. This is not over yet. Goblin General followed closely behind. Goblins charge. Like a steel knife, it pierced into the heart of the boss Xiao Qi. An exaggerated amount of damage exploded. Minus 32,489. Directly deal 30,000 damage. Coupled with the continuous roasting of the twin fire monsters, the goblin shooter behind them made up for the damage. Boss Xiao Qi's health is only over 40,000. Pretty. Dao Qian shouted excitedly. With this set, the blood volume will drop quickly. If I hadn't known that this boss has 200,000 health, and the blood loss rate at this rate, I would have thought it was only a few thousand. It's so perverted. I didn't expect the summoner to have such a powerful skill. It's a bit strong. Wenren Qingyu said. Are you sure it's the skill that's strong, not Zheng Yujang's? Dao Qian asked. Wenren Qingyu nodded and said, everyone is strong. I have observed before that Zheng Yu's goblin charge can deal up to 18,000 damage at a time. But after using this summoned beast madness skill, the damage was directly increased by nearly double. This is not a skill that a professional who is less than level 10 should have. This skill is that the stronger the summoned beast is, the stronger the increase will be after becoming mad. For other summoners, it's just average. After all, doubling the waste equals two wastes. But Zheng Yu doubled. Dao Qian added, one pervert turned into two perverts. The kid went into a state of brutality. Wu Zong's words interrupted the two of them. A bone-chilling chill hit my face. Waves rise in the ice-free lake. After being hit by Zheng Yu's crazy damage and only having a quarter of his health left, the cursed Xiao Qi entered a brutal state. Two of his hidden skills were also revealed. Skill IV, Father. Skill V, Mother. I just want to ask, who is winning in this nightmare abyss? Wu Zong held it in for a long time and finally asked the question he had always wanted to ask. Zheng Yu is so perverted. It is so difficult to defeat the nightmare level abyss. Can other professionals really defeat it? The reason why I ask this question. It was because behind the boy whose internal organs had been eviscerated, the human skin spider that Zheng Yu had spent so much effort to eliminate appeared again. He is the father. The female body that Zheng Yu fished out from the bottom of the well slowly stood up. She is the mother. The presence of parents should protect their children from wind and rain. You gave up on me while I was alive. I'm dead, you should do something for me. Xiao Qi revealed his original voice for the first time. A clear child's voice. No level. No blood. When the human skin spider and the female corpse underground appeared, Wu Zong discovered that the monsters called mom and dad by the cold streak boss had no data. That's why he wanted to ask, who is winning in the nightmare abyss? Because he has absolutely no chance of winning. All five of Zheng Yu's dead soldiers self-destructed. It feels like the mad state is coming to an end. We have just unleashed the opponent's brutal state. How will we fight next? At this moment, Wu Zong had already begun to plan to withdraw from the abyss. If the goblin general hadn't been in front, he might have retreated. When Ren Qingyu stared at the center of the lake, you have to understand that Zheng Yu is the only one here who has the strength to fight this boss, and none of us can help. To clear the nightmare abyss in other cities, there must be at least one SS level talent professional, and the remaining team members must also be at least S level to be eligible to clear the nightmare abyss. And this doesn't guarantee absolute clearance. To be honest, Zheng Yu is already very strong if he can fight to this level. Wenren Qingyu actually didn't have much hope of clearing the level. She didn't expect that Cold Street Nightmare Level Abyss would be so powerful. 
Wenren Qingyu, Kei Ying, and Wu Zong looked a little lonely. After all, they borrowed a lot of money to bet that Zheng Yu could clear the nightmare abyss. Money is actually not a very serious issue. They also reached level 6 or 7 in one day, which is at least a starting point, and they can slowly make money later. It's a pity that it's this nightmare level abyss. If they can clear the nightmare level abyss once, the clearance rewards, historical record rewards, first pass rewards, nightmare level special rewards, these resources are enough to sustain them until they upgrade to at least level 20 and enter the third stage of the abyss. Pity. Fantasy is fantasy, reality is cruel. Judging from the current situation, they can't see any comeback point for Zheng Yu. Two monsters with no apparent level. A boss that has entered a brutal state. On Zheng Yu's side, the twin fire demons were about to enter a state of exhaustion of energy again. Although the berserk goblin warrior could still fight, he could not stop the three monsters at all. All the goblin deathmen blew themselves up and died. The goblin wolf cavalry was surrounded by a group of cold corpses. The goblin wizard sacrificed his life to kill the human skin spider. Only the goblin archer with the weakest combat power was left. Up to this point in the battle, Zheng Yu has completely lost his chance of winning. I'm going to help him. Dao Qian took out the monk stick. Rushed out. You're crazy. Wu Zong grabbed Dao Qian directly. What can you do to help if you go up now? Can you kill the human skin spider, or can you block the female corpse underground? If it were an abyss of other levels, they would still be considered combat effective at level 6, but this is a nightmare level abyss. Stop talking about them. Even when Li Feng came, he had to hold back. Then I can't just watch Zheng Yu die. Dao Qian was very anxious. If they are no longer fighting, they can exit the abyss. But Zheng Yu can't. As long as he can't escape the boss's attack, he can't exit the abyss. Dao Qian almost didn't think much and was ready to rush in to help Zheng Yu. You're going to die if you go up there. Wu Zong dissuaded. It doesn't matter. With a firm look in his eyes, Dao Qian picked up the monk's stick and turned around to enter the ice-free lake. Although he knew very well that he was no match for the boss and the cold corpse monster. But he went anyway. If nothing else, if Zheng Yu dies, he will feel guilty for the rest of his life. Grass. Crazy. Crazy. Wu Zong gritted his teeth and cursed. The next moment, Wu Zong found that Kei Ying had also taken out a dagger, and he was stunned. You don't want to go up there and die, do you? Kei Ying nodded seriously with her baby face. For me, I can only turn around if I become a professional, otherwise, it's no different from death. After saying that, she went into hiding and slowly dived into the ice-free lake. Wu Zong was a little confused. He could understand why Dao Qian went to help Zheng Yu, because Zheng Yu and Dao Qian had been brothers since childhood and had a strong emotional foundation. But why is Kei Ying? Don't look at me, I don't know either. Wenren Qingyu noticed that Wu Zong was looking at him and said casually while holding his arms. Then she pointed around and said, you probably want to retreat, right? As soon as possible. At this time, Wu Zongkai discovered that there was a rustling sound around him and the group of cold corpses reappeared due to the resurrection of the human skin spider. Grass. Grass. Wu Zong was very confused. They had really gotten along well with Zheng Yu before, but that was only because Zheng Yu could lead him to upgrade. But things are different now. When the cold corpses appeared, not only did he have no place to hide, Zheng Yu's goblin general was also suppressed by the human skin spider and the female corpse underground. He saw no hope of winning. There was silence for a moment. He raised his head and asked Wenren Qingyu, aren't you leaving? Wenren Qingyu took out the dagger and said, my sister is here. I'm going out. I will regret it for the rest of my life. Wu Zong glanced at Zheng Yu and Dao Qian with complicated eyes. I want to live. Wu Zong finally sighed. If you go up now, you will die. Tell Dao Qian for me that I'm sorry for him. Wu Zong finally chose to leave. He felt that he was crazy enough to accompany Zheng Yu and Dao Qian here. Bet, yes, but you can't put your life on the line. After all, he has already seen the opponent's powerful strength, and it would be foolish to gamble anymore. He wants to be a professional. He was indeed attracted by the rewards of the nightmare level abyss. Otherwise, he wouldn't have cared about his brother borrowing money to go into the abyss. But the problem is, 
The done deal is done, the outcome is decided, and there is no hope left. I would like to advise you, before you enter the battle state, you can withdraw as much as possible, so that you can leave the green hills without worrying about having no firewood. Wu Zong looked at Wenren Qingyu with some nostalgia and advised. Wenren Qingyu did not hide his disgusted expression at all. Just mind yourself. Don't think anything wrong about me, you are not qualified yet. Besides, I am not obligated to give you any words. Get out. Wu Zong. He really fell in love with Wenren Qingyu. But it's just a pity that beauties like Kei Ying and Wenren Qingyu will die together with Zheng Yu and the others. Fine. Wu Zong shook his head. Choose to force exit from the Abyss Dungeon. Forcing to exit the Abyss Dungeon will result in a forced drop by two levels, and will have the negative impact of reducing 60% experience points in the next Abyss. If you already understand the penalty mechanism for forced exit from the Abyss, please click Confirm and exit the Abyss after 10 seconds. Wu Zong sighed. Compared to life, what does this punishment mean? Confirm exit. Exiting the Cold Street Abyss Nightmare Level 10. Point 0.9, point 0.8. Team reminder. Member, Wu Zong, warrior monk, has withdrawn from the team. Wu Zong will be punished for being forced to withdraw from the Abyss Dungeon. Zheng Yu glanced back. It was discovered that Wu Zong had turned into a ray of light and disappeared in place. And found Dao Qian holding a monk stick, shivering in the ice-free lake and running towards Zheng Yu. Brother Yu, let me help you. He was running and shouting. Then, because his legs were numb from the cold, he stumbled to the ground. Just when I remembered, a footprint appeared on my back. Puff. He was trampled down again. Kei Ying. It was obviously Kei Ying, the hidden assassin. Before Dao Qian could stand up again, another footprint stepped on his back. You two have gone too far. Dao Qian cursed. The assassin is very fast, can hide, and can flash, but he needs a place to stay, and Dao Qian who is lying down is just right. Zheng Yu looked at these two beautiful assassins in surprise. What? You didn't expect us to stay. Wenren Qingyu raised his eyebrows and looked at Zheng Yu. Zheng Yu smiled and said, indeed. Judging from the current situation, his chances of winning are indeed slim. Dao Qian is a good brother who really lives his life. But Kei Ying and Wen Ren Qingyu, in the final analysis, it's just a relationship of interest. Wen Ren Qingyu pointed at the baby faced Kei Ying beside her, she said she believed in you. Zheng Yu glanced at Kei Ying. When they were resting, they also heard in their chat that it was Kei Ying's decision to join his team. Although Wen Ren Qingyu came from a big family and knew more, Wen Ren Qingyu always followed Kei Ying in making decisions. Why? Zheng Yu asked. Then he pointed at the goblin general who was suppressed and beaten and had been reduced to half health, just them. Kei Ying pursed her lips and said, I'm also betting that you still have a trump card. Zheng Yu smiled and said, To gamble, you must at least have cards. If the cards are gone, where can you gamble? Kei Ying was not fooled by Zheng Yu, she said directly, because you are about to be upgraded. Clever. Zheng Yu nodded. Neither Wu Zong, who would rather endure the punishment of being forced to retreat than stay here, nor the well-informed Wen Ren Qingyu noticed that he was about to reach the level 10 experience bar. Instead, this cute-looking legal lowly noticed this. That's right. This is Zheng Yu's final trump card. It was also a gift he prepared for Xiao Qi, the boss of Cold Street. In fact, until now, the strength of Han Ji boss has exceeded my expectations, which may be related to the difficulty of completing the dungeon alone, which has increased a lot. According to his plan, the Summoned Beast's Madness skill was originally reserved for use in the Brutal Stage. After all, if the card owner is level 10, this method of instantly improving his strength is too risky. However, he only has this trump card left now. I have to say, it is indeed a nightmare level abyss. Use all your trump cards. Level 10. Wenren Qingyu on the side said doubtfully, although level 10 can indeed improve your strength, it is far less than the level 25 professional evolution and the qualitative change of level 50 professional awakening. Her concerns are justified. Level 10 can only be considered a small improvement. Level 25 and level 50 are the two stages of great improvement. As a scorer, for me, every time I improve my level, it's a huge improvement. Zheng Yu said calmly. At the same time, the twin fire demons burned another level 15 cold corpse to death. 
Kill Hanji LV.15 and gain 1681 experience points. Congratulations. Level up. Level. LV.9 right pointing arrow LV.10 11,000 10,541 experience points are needed before upgrading. HP. 1410 right pointing arrow 1750 450 equipment attributes. Intelligence. 105 right pointing arrow 116 35 equipment attributes. Free attribute points remaining. 20. Level increased to level 10. Acquire the Summoner's Basic Specialization Skills, Summon Beast Physical Training, Summon Beast Skill Training, Summon Beast Attribute Training. It's level 10. Jung Yu looked at the improved attributes and nodded with satisfaction. He didn't bother with the three newly obtained specialized skills for the time being. Specialized skills cannot bring immediate improvement to Jung Yu. The most important thing is actually the upper limit of blood volume and free attribute points. Level 10 gives 10 attribute points. 1 attribute point, 50 HP limit. 20 free attribute points means 100 talent points. This means that as long as you sacrifice another 500 health points, you can directly upgrade the twin fire demon to the 4th level talent. This is what Jung Yu relies on. Even the 3rd level twin fire demons can restrain the cold street boss. If it is promoted to level 4, the current situation will be reversed. The most important thing is that Jung Yu discovered that every time he leveled up the Summon Beast, the Summon Beast state would be reset to its peak state. Boom. There was a loud bang. I saw General Goblin being thrown away by the human skin spider. The female corpse in the well pressed her hands to the ground, and a huge ice pick poured out of the ice free lake and pierced the giant wolf's abdomen. Puff. As soon as the blood was sprayed out, it was frozen into ice slag. With a whimper, the giant wolf breathed his last and died. The goblin general was left to fight alone. Jung Yu no longer hesitated. Add all your own attribute points to your health as quickly as possible, and then sacrifice 1500 health points in exchange for 150 talent points. All on the twin fire demons. It takes 100 talent points to upgrade goblin general from level 3 to level 4. It takes 150 points to upgrade the Twin Fire Demon from level 3 to level 4. However, the more talent points required, the greater the improvement after upgrading. Buzz. A beam of light descended on the Twin Fire Demons. Summon Beast Twin Fire Demon, level 3, Talent Evolution Right Pointing Arrow Twin Flame Dragon Snake, level 4. Summon Beast Double Flame Dragon Snake. Level, level 10, increases with the level of the Summoner. HP 9500. Attack power 696, 116. Summoner's current intelligence, asterisk 6.0 coefficient. Talent level 4. There are still 850 talent points left before upgrading. Plus. Skill I Flame Halo LV.10. It can control the temperature within a 50 meter diameter range. When raised to the maximum, it will cause 2088 points of burning damage to all objects every second, 696 fire elf attack power, asterisk 3.0 coefficient. Skill 2, fire breath LV.10. Breathing ultra high temperature flames, causing huge damage. The flame breath has super strong adhesion and is difficult to extinguish. It causes 4,872, 696, fire spirit attack power, asterisk 7.0, coefficient, ignition damage per second. Skill 3, twin contract, special skill, no level. The twin fire demons coexist and can release skills at the same time, the damage is superimposed, and the fire attribute damage is doubled. Skill IV, fire snake hell LV.10. Create a fire snake hell in advance. When an enemy enters the range, it will be automatically triggered. The entire fire snake hell will be enveloped in high temperature flames, causing 7,239, 696 fire elf attack power, asterisk 10.4 coefficient, points of damage per second, and 20 will appear. 10, summoner level, asterisk 2, coefficient, fire snake clone. The Fire Snake clone can cause 1392, 696 elf attack power, asterisk 2.0 coefficient points of explosion damage. Summon Beast Equipment None. A snake chirping mixed with a dragon's roar sounded on the ice-free lake. Hiss. The light of evolution disappears. A two-headed snake appeared in front of everyone. The body is more than 5 meters long. 
Connected are two dragon heads that look like dragons but not dragons, and look like snakes but not snakes. The red body is covered with crimson flames. The moment the twin flame dragon snake appeared, the coldness that filled the entire cold street abyss was completely dispelled. Boom. Fire comes. The boss, Xiao Qi, who always thought he was sure of victory, looked at the two-headed fire snake with a gloomy face. Fire inherently restrains eyes. The twin fire demons of the third level were already beaten to the point where they were unable to parry and had to enter a brutal state. Now this twin flame dragon snake makes Xiao Qi feel the threat of death. Ah. This time the boss Xiao Qi screamed. Fire restrains eyes. This is the absolute nemesis of Cold Street Abyss. Call. The flames instantly enveloped everyone present. After evolving to the fourth level, the range of the flame halo increased to 50 meters in diameter. Although it could not cover the entire ice-free lake, it was still large enough. The shroud of flames not only caused Xiao Qi to scream in agony, but also caused the human skin spider and the underground female corpse, both of which had ice attributes, to keep retreating, trying to get away from the burning flames. This gave General Goblin a chance to rest. Dao Qian and others were silent again. Looking at the double flame dragon snake, he was speechless for a while. Even though Kei Ying had already guessed that Zheng Yu might have a trump card at level 10, she didn't expect that this trump card was a little too much. As soon as the twin flame dragon snake appeared, it directly suppressed the brutal cold street boss. Someone is going to regret it. Seeing that the twin flame dragon snake suppressed the boss, Dao Qian no longer tensed up and stood next to Zheng Yu and said with a snicker. Actually, it's normal. Zheng Yu knew that Dao Qian was talking about Wu Zong, who had withdrawn. After all, he has no reason to die here with me. Although Wu Zong had been preparing for three years, in order to become a professional and enter the family tree, he gritted his teeth and borrowed money. But all of this is insignificant compared to his life, and it is not enough reason for him to risk his life to stay here. Leaving is excusable. As a result, he suffered it himself. Whether good or bad, it has nothing to do with him. I'm just curious about the reason why you two stay here. Zheng Yu looked at Wenren Qingyu and Kei Ying curiously. The fact that I have a trump card at level 10 is not a reason for you to stay here. Seeing that Zheng Yu's tone was serious and that he was not just making up excuses to fool him, Wenren Qingyu said, I want revenge, so I naturally need strength. Originally, I didn't have much hope for revenge, but if I can clear the nightmare level dungeon, there is hope. Kei Ying must become a professional. She has made serious mistakes in her family and is wanted by the family. If she does not have the strength, the consequences will not be much better than death. A hard argument to argue with. One wants revenge, the other wants to survive, both require strength. Wanted by the family. Zheng Yu was very interested in this word, mainly because he was curious. Would a family kill a blood relative? Kei Ying did not explain why she was wanted by her family. But it must not be a trivial matter. In short, these two people are both people with stories. Zheng Yu and Dao Qian looked at each other, still living like ordinary people. During the conversation, the twin flame dragon snake has released the most powerful skill, Fire Snake Hell. In an instant, the center of the ice-free lake completely turned into a sea of fire. The boss Xiao Qi felt like he was in hell, being burned and eroded by flames. The hurt came out of him densely. Roar. Seeing that Xiao Qi was about to be burned to death, the female corpse in the well threw herself on Xiao Qi and blocked him from the flames. Laugh. But the female corpse underground could not withstand the damage of the flames. Hiss. At the same time, the sound of snakes sounded. They surrounded the human skin spider who was trying to escape and kept attacking him. Being a father, when this human skin spider encounters danger, the first thing he thinks about is to escape. There are 30 fire snakes in each fire snake hell. Coupled with the twins' doubling ability, a total of 60 fire snakes surrounded the human skin spider and wrapped tightly around his body. Laugh. The burning sound continued in the middle of the ice-free lake. Everything came to an end with this strong flame. The final battle was not fierce, and there was no balanced confrontation as imagined, only the unilateral suppression of the twin flame dragon snake. Fourth level double flame dragon snake. Double fire properties. The summoned beast goes crazy. 
putting the twin flame dragon snake at an absolute advantage, at least it has an innate advantage in the cold street abyss. Boom. The fire is still burning. The human skin spider kept struggling. But because he has no health bar and no life, he cannot die yet. He can only continue to struggle and suffer. The center of the ice-free lake. The real mother and son hugged each other in the flames of the serpent hell, quietly waiting for death. No, it was the female corpse underground waiting for death. She used her own body to suppress the struggling Xiao Qi. Xiao Qi, whose skin was burned to pieces and carbonized, wanted to leave the flaming hell, but was tightly hugged by the female corpse underground. Let me go, let me go. Xiao Qi looked ferocious, twisted his body, and cursed crazily. At this time, his blood volume had completely bottomed out, but he was not completely dead. Zheng Yu did not let the twin flame dragon snake and goblin general continue to attack, because it was already over here. What happens next is no longer up to Zheng Yu. Do you want to kill me? Xiao Qi was angry. He found that he could not break free from the control of the female corpse. He was so angry that he bit the female corpse's shoulder. The pale face of the female corpse in the well finally showed a gentle smile. Xiao Qi, let this end, don't suffer anymore. End. Why should it end? You have caused my pain, and now you want to end it. How does it make sense? Sorry. Faced with Xiao Qi's questioning, the female corpse only said sorry and continued to hug him tightly. The thing you should feel most sorry for is giving birth to me. The female corpse was silent. Sorry. After a long time, she still said the same thing. Xiao Qi's patience was worn out by the female corpse. In order to break free from the shackles of the female corpse, he reached out and pinched the female corpse's neck. With a ferocious expression in horror, he said to the female corpse, What's the use of saying sorry to me now? What should have happened has happened, and you have never experienced the torture I suffered. What qualifications do you have to say sorry? What did you do when I was captured and tortured by them? Where were you when they disemboweled me and made my entrails into cakes? Tell me you're sorry now. You do not deserve. Xiao Qi, who was yelling, strangled the female corpse's neck and questioned her again and again. But the female corpse never answered. Because the female corpse was already dead. I don't know how many years he's been dead. Whether it is the female corpse in the well or the human skin spider, Xiao Qi created it himself just to satisfy his resentment that he can never let go of. Everything is controlled by Xiao Qi. Even, including the action of being hugged by the female corpse, and the words, I'm sorry. After all, how could the cold corpse he created restrain him? Call. The flame disappears. Also disappearing are the cold and ice-free lakes. What appeared instead was a street full of depressive atmosphere. Zheng Yu, Dao Qian, Wenren Qingyu, and Kei Ying stood on the street, looking at the increasingly depressed Fuyun Street and a group of angry people. They passed Zheng Yu and others and walked toward a seven or eight year old child. You did it, right. The tourists are gone, the business is gone. I borrowed money to build my shop. Now I haven't made a penny, but I have lost my life savings. Don't talk so much. The goddess said that as long as you kill him and use his internal organs to celebrate Fuyun Street's birthday, Fuyun Street can return to its original state. Catch him, a madman's child, it wouldn't be a pity to kill him. Zheng Yu saw many familiar faces among this group of people. The cook, the fish killing boy, the butcher shop owner, and the talking village chief. The human skin spider's head is the village chief's head. This group of people looked ferocious and had almost lost all their sanity. This is, Xiao Qi's memory. If the guess is correct, these people should have gone crazy a long time ago. Wenren Qingyu said from the side. I feel like I have been brainwashed. Who is the goddess they are talking about? Kei Ying asked. Zheng Yu shook his head. Who knows, but it is obvious that all the evil comes from the goddess, or from the curse that Xiao Qi carries. While talking, the scene shifted to the cook's restaurant. Xiao Qi has passed away in an instant. The body was tossed aside haphazardly and the entrails were cooked into the awful cake that the cook made. A group of people went crazy, completely unaware of the absurdity of this approach. Instead, they gathered together with joyful expressions and placed the awful cake at the entrance of Fuyun Street. Following the instructions of the goddess, I made an altar and changed Fuyun Street into Han Street with my own hands. It turns out they changed it themselves. Zheng Yu's eyes twitched. 
He originally thought it was Xiao Qi who changed it. The sacrifice is halfway through. Everyone came to the cake, devoutly and crazily took away a piece of bloody cake, and muttered, it will definitely be fine next year. I am so devout, God will help us. Hearing this murmuring voice, Zheng Yu was indeed speechless. What made them become like this was a curse from God. I didn't expect that they would be so pious to God. At this time, a crazy woman came to the altar. She rushed to the cake like crazy. No one stopped her. Maybe it's guilt. But the more reason is that the sacrifice has been completed and no one cares about what the mad woman will do next. Contrary to everyone's expectations, the mad woman carefully picked up a piece of cake that was not stained with blood or internal organs. He smiled and asked the village chief on the side, can I give this to Xiao Qi? It's his birthday today, Xiao Qi, well, Xiao Qi said he wanted to have a serious birthday. I, I asked him what a formal birthday is. He said it counts if you have a birthday cake. So, can you give me this? The village chief stared at the mad woman expressionlessly. It was only after he realized that the mad woman did not know that Xiao Qi was dead that he nodded slowly. The crazy woman looked around and asked the village chief, have you seen Xiao Qi? I haven't seen him all day. This kid is always running around. Because the crazy woman couldn't control the muscles on her face, she always spoke twitchingly, but the love in her eyes could not be smoothed away. The village chief stared at the crazy woman. Maybe play by the well behind the street. How about I accompany you to look for it? The screen changes again. The crazy woman was pushed into the well by the village chief. Oh shit. Finally it's all solved. The village chief uttered obscenities and cursed fiercely. I didn't expect that after I fooled you once, I could still get pregnant, and even went into the mountains to hide and give birth to the child. So what if you were born? You ended up giving birth to a cursed beast that harmed us all. You shouldn't have given birth to Xiao Qi, and you shouldn't have lived. Grass. The village chief spat into the well. Turn around and leave. The next plot is exactly what Zheng Yu thought. How could a child cursed by God die so easily? The hollowed out corpse of Xiao Qi abandoned in the kitchen stood up again, freezing the entire Han Ji, turning everyone in the Han Ji into cold corpses. He cut off the scalps of every villager who had eaten the cake, and sewed the village chief into a human skinned spider to suffer forever. Throw the mad woman down the well forever, because he also believes that she should stay there forever. Because without her, you won't give birth to yourself. He won't suffer so much. Being cut into pieces and made into cakes was just the end of the matter. He had no father and his mother was a lunatic, so he suffered inhuman treatment on this street. Hatred, coldness, and grievance have created the boss Xiao Qi he is today. The screen comes back. The boy Xiao Qi put his hand on the crazy woman's chest. He hates everything, but what he hates most is the mother who gave birth to him in front of him. Cold Street Abyss Nightmare Level has ended. It will be automatically settled after 5 minutes and the instance will be exited. This is the end. Dao Qian felt very stuck and panicked. The history of this tragic ending seems to have become more complicated because of their arrival. Is there something missing? I feel so bad. Wenren Qingyu always felt that something was missing and felt a little irritable. They ended the abyss and killed the boss Xiao Qi. It should have been a happy thing, but they were never happy. Zheng Yu said, there is indeed something missing. It shouldn't have ended like this. Zheng Yu took out the awful cake from his backpack. He found a piece of cake that was not contaminated by blood or internal organs, and walked up to the mad woman who had been burnt to coke and had no sight in her eyes. Place the cake between them. The mission prop has been triggered. A prompt appeared instantly. The crazy woman who was already dead suddenly opened her eyes. She smiled and picked up the, clean, cake, smiled gratefully at Zheng Yu, then she fiddled with something in her pocket and took out a candle. Insert on cake. He used all his strength to send the, coke, in front of him. Xiao Qi, this is the birthday cake you wanted. Happy birthday. The mad woman's voice is extremely gentle. She tries hard to be a real mother, but due to mental disorder and IQ deficiency, she has no normal logical thinking and realistic cognition. But she's, really trying to be a good mother. There was a slight cracking sound. The charcoal originally attached to Xiao Qi's body slowly shattered. Revealing his original child's face. So innocent, so cute, so beautiful. No eviscerations, no scratched faces. 
Xiao Qi stared blankly at the crazy woman in front of him. There was a look in his eyes that even he didn't understand. Come on, Xiao Qi, blow, blow out the candles. The mad woman tried her best to say in a broken voice with some bad pronunciation. I heard, they blow out wax, candles on their birthdays. They say it can, make a wish come true. Mom, I hope Xiao Qi can, live a normal life. Mom hopes that she will not be Xiao Qi's mother in the future, so that Xiao Qi can always be happy and have a proper birthday like other children every year. Mom hopes that Xiao Qi will have a, normal mother, not, not me. Xiao Qi can put on his school bag and go to school with his good friends instead of hiding in the mountains with me. Xiao, Xiao Qi, Mom, I hope I'm not your mother, but, Mom is so selfish, because she never thought of giving up on you. Because you are the only one I have ever had in love. Xiao Qi, forgive me, forgive me for giving birth to you selfishly. You have to make a wish and say that you want to leave here and go to a place where no one knows me. You will be happy, happy, happy there. Xiao Qi looked at the, mom, in front of him. He finally realized that in this world, the only person who loved him was the person he hated the most. He thought of the woman who made herself happy by weaving a garland of flowers and plants when she was being bullied. I thought of the woman who always remembered her birthday, stole all kinds of food for herself from Fuyun Street, and had an, irregular birthday. Suddenly, he felt guilty and wondered if he had really done something wrong. But at this moment, Zheng Yu said to Xiao Qi, Xiao Qi, you're not wrong, no need to feel guilty. It was never you, nor your mother, who was at fault. It's the goddess, the villagers who listened to the goddess's words, the village chief who occupied the mad woman. Zheng Yu took out the awful cake. Zheng Yu had long discovered that the properties of the awful cake had changed when Xiao Qi entered the residual health state. Curse version visceral cake, after hundreds of years of absorbing the resentment of Han Ji, the cake gave birth to the original souls of Han Ji. Feed the cake to their bodies, and they will be resurrected. Xiao Qi. Zheng Yu smiled a little strangely, but also a little calmly. He pushed the awful cake to him and said with a smile. They ate this piece of cake and stayed here forever. Now let them eat it again. The cold corpse has no consciousness, no thoughts, no regrets, and no pain. That doesn't go far enough to assuage your resentment. If you want revenge, you have to be thorough. For you. Zheng Yu pushed the awful cake with completely changed properties to Xiao Qi. He said with a bright smile, Let those demons, those beasts that have caused you pain, feel the real hell. Let their souls return to their bodies and feel the pain again. This is the ending I think it should have. In fact, the entire cold street abyss was created by Xiao Qi himself, whether it was the cook Han Ji, the fish killer Han Ji, the butcher shop owner Han Ji, the human skin spider, or the ice-free lake. The only thing that remained in its original state was the female corpse underground, that is, his crazy mother. According to Zheng Yu, Cold Street Abyss has two endings. One is that Xiao Qi and his crazy mother died together, achieving an all-kill ending. But Zheng Yu found this ending very unpleasant. The other is to use the cursed awful cake to let the souls floating in the abyss of Han Ji return to the corpse of Han Ji. Give Xiao Qi a happy revenge. It is also the ending that Zheng Yu thinks is the most comfortable. He is a character who must take revenge when he wants revenge. No matter what the final reward is, he feels that it is worth it. Congratulations on completing the only achievement of Cold Street Abyss, Living King of Hell. Living King of Hell Achievement Badge You will resurrect the souls who were trapped in the abyss of the Cold Street and suffered so much pain, allowing them to relive the pain of being revenged by their enemies. The King of Hell will praise you when you see him, this is the real King of Hell. Basic Achievement Attributes Intelligence plus 1%, Strength plus 1%. Achievement special attribute, the damage caused by the cold corpse to you is plus 50%, and the damage you cause to the cold corpse is plus 100%. After passing the awful cake to Xiao Qi, a special achievement is activated. The attributes are not bad, and they are actually a percentage bonus. Although it is only 1%, it can be considered a very considerable bonus in the later stage, because as long as the achievement is activated, it will be worn without actually wearing the badge. Many professionals, after leveling up their cards, will choose to complete various achievements to obtain badge attributes and increase their strength. This kind of professional is called an achievement hunter. 
and it has spawned a kind of job that specializes in leading people to achieve achievements, and it is said that the benefits are huge. As for the special attribute of the achievement, Zheng Yu thinks it should be useful. After all, the attribute says Han Zombie, not Cold Street Abyss. The Cold Corpse was created by Xiao Qi, but it was made using the curse power of the God of Cold Hell. I don't rule out that I will meet this God of Cold Hell in the future. If you encounter one, you will have an advantage because of this achievement. The abyss has ended, exiting the abyss. Point one zero, point nine. System sound came. Dao Qian, Wenren Qingyu and others were completely relieved. He looked at Xiao Qi and the crazy woman hugging each other, at the twitching human skin spider lying on the ground, and at the cold corpses in the lake. Dao Qian said proudly, Zheng Yu and I are so fierce. Wenren Qingyu and Kei Ying. As the countdown ends, Zheng Yu and others were teleported out of the cold street abyss one after another. The four leave. The various cold corpses lying in the ice-free lake suddenly began to twitch, and a glimmer of light suddenly appeared in their originally dull eyes. The cook Han Ji, the fish killer, the butcher shop owner, the human skin spider, dot all the Han Ji stood up again. This time, they were no longer cold and numb, but full of fear. Xiao Qi helped the crazy woman beside him and said to her with a smile, Mom, let's have a serious birthday. The crazy woman asked, What is a proper birthday? Xiao Qi's mouth curved into a cruel arc, and his voice was cold but full of interest as he said, Of course, it's not a serious birthday until you see blood and internal organs. Bring it on, let's have a party, a hellish banquet that belongs only to Han Ji. Comma. At the same time, Cold Street Abyss Hall. A group of people were surrounding a team that had just come out. Holy shit, that's awesome. Is Li Feng really an A-level talent? Not only did he break the ordinary level record of Cold Street Abyss, he also set a new record for the difficult level that had been held for several years. I have to say, it's really awesome. I remember that this record was set three years ago by an S-level talent professional with four A-level talents, right? Yes, it was originally an impossible record to break, but now it has been broken by Li Feng. Envious, a group of people gathered around Li Feng, who had just cleared the difficult Cold Street Abyss and broke the record. Wu Zong sat in the corner, looking at Li Feng with a proud face, feeling very calm. Li Feng is Li Feng, and he is himself. Li Feng can set a new record, that is his ability. He was very glad that his current choice could at least save his life. Although the money may have been wasted, he now has level 6 and can find teammates in any team. It's very easy to brush through the simple level abyss. Pity. Someone said behind Li Feng. Li Feng was stunned, because this was exactly what he was thinking. He turned around and found several unknown professionals chatting. The conversation, seemed to be about Zheng Yu. I don't think it's a pity. Zheng Yu committed suicide and entered the nightmare abyss. If he agreed to Li Feng's request to form a team, wouldn't he get a reward in vain now? I can only say that Zheng Yu is a little too arrogant. Oh, you don't understand anything. No, you understand again. I really know something you don't know. The relationship between Zheng Yu and Li Feng is far from simple as you seem. Is there, a melon? Hey, do you want to hear it? Father. The man obviously didn't expect that someone would demote himself for a piece of gossip, and he said directly without showing off. Why do you think Zheng Yu rejected Li Feng's invitation? Arrogant. The man shook his head and said, it's shallow, my understanding is shallow. Because Li Feng took away the resources that should belong to Zheng Yu. Um, what do you mean? Where do you get the resources? S-level talent subsidy, do you know how many good things come with an S-level talent subsidy? Not to mention the resurrection cross worth 5 million, gold level weapons. Gold level armor. Gold level jewelry. A gold level set. Of course, this does not include the money and medicines in the subsidy, all of which were given to Li Feng. That's not right. Shouldn't the S level subsidy be given to Zheng Yu? This is what I want to say. Not only did Zheng Yu not get it, he was also invited to join the team by Li Feng in front of his face. If you were Zheng Yu, would you join the team? Then I really can't. This is an insult. You are thinking too little again. It's not just an insult. You are an S-level talent. You are being robbed of resources. Are you willing? Of course not. Then what will you do? Report it. 
If the city doesn't care, just report it to the provinces. If the provinces don't care, just report it to the central government. The S level subsidy is not an amount. What he has taken away is my future. Yes, you think so, and Zheng Yu thinks so too. Li Feng will also be afraid that Zheng Yu will do this. After all, it will affect his father's career. Could it be? Yes, as long as Zheng Yu disappears into the abyss without anyone noticing, there will be no problem. Do you think it's a good intention to invite Zheng Yu? It's actually a Hongmen banquet. There are so many things in this. But how do you know this? When questioned, the person showed a special smile and said, Because I am Li Feng's younger brother. Um, the man who claimed to be Li Feng's younger brother disappeared into nowhere after saying this. Wu Zong listened to the whole process. While he felt a little regretful, he also found that many people were talking about Li Feng stealing Zheng Yu's resources. No wonder Zheng Yu had to enter the nightmare level abyss just to complain. According to me, he's a bit stupid. Even without subsidies, he still has an S-level talent. Isn't it good to be alive? No, he's not dead yet. Why do you think Zheng Yu will definitely die? Hey, look who that is. Ah, isn't that the monk who went in with Zheng Yu? Why is he here? I quit early. With the punishment of forced withdrawal, if he can be here, Zheng Yu can still survive. Just in case. No chance, if Zheng Yu can pass the level, forget it, it is too unrealistic for him to pass the level. Even if Zheng Yu can survive, I will stand on my head with a 5-speed fan. But to be honest, if I were Zheng Yu, I wouldn't go into the nightmare level abyss out of anger. Too angry. Then what's the trick? I haven't heard from others. Li Feng's father is Li Nan. Li Nan is not only the minister of resources, but also the son of Li Chenggong in the central district. He has a great background. Li Chenggong, that level 65 flame warrior. Yes, that's him. Hiss, I didn't expect Li Feng to have such a background. So, Zheng Yu was robbed not only of resources, but also of future development. Otherwise, why do you think Li Feng came to our Jiangshui city? Are you here to grab resources? Probably not. After all, this is too blatant. It's probably a coincidence. It just so happened that Li Feng didn't successfully awaken to S level, and there happened to be an S level Zheng Yu who was a useless professional summoner. I can only say that Zheng Yu is unlucky. Quote dot dot dot. Oh, what a pity. The people's discussion not only reached Wu Zong's ears, but was also heard by Li Feng. Brother Feng, don't you need to teach them a lesson for talking nonsense? The short-haired young man next to Li Feng asked. Li Feng shook his head. He was not very worried about these rumors. Anyway, he would not stay in Jiangshui city for long. After he left, the rumors would slowly dissipate. It was his suggestion to seize Zheng Yu's resources. Originally, his father Li Nan refused. But with the help of his mother and the threat from his mother's family, his father mentioned it to Mayor Zhou Yun, and then the matter was done. Not only was the resource successfully obtained, but it was also approved by the province and district, making this matter no longer a robbery, but a matter of course. Mainly because Zheng Yu is a summoner, which makes everything easier. At this time, Li Feng saw Wu Zong sitting in the corner. Coincidentally, Wu Zong was also looking at him. Li Feng walked to Wu Zong with a smile. Wu Zong said angrily, Everyone is dead, why did you come to me? To humiliate me for betraying the team. Although he didn't agree with Zheng Yu's approach. But he also looked down upon Li Feng who robbed other people's resources. Li Feng shook his head. No, I am not qualified to insult you. After all, I don't have the courage to enter the nightmare abyss. I just came to remind you that there are some things that should be said and some things that should not be said. Wu Zong laughed angrily. Do you think these rumors are from me? If not, Li Feng believes that only Zheng Yu and his teammates can know this, and currently only Wu Zong. Whether it's you who said it or not, just remember it and save yourself trouble. Faced with such a threat, Wu Zong hesitated, and finally swallowed the unpleasant words he had prepared. Zheng Yu is dead, so even if he scolds Li Feng, it will be meaningless. He was just curious about one thing. I want to know, when you invited Zheng Yu, did you really want to kill him? Wu Zong asked very straightforwardly. In fact, he had no intention of asking for a real answer at all, just to disgust Li Feng a little. Li Feng sighed and said, 
I don't know why the rumors are like this, but I did sincerely invite Zheng Yu. It's just to compensate him. After all, his strength is indeed worthy of being my teammate. But there is no chance now. If he wants to die on his own, he can't rely on me. Wu Zong actually believed Li Feng's words. I just don't understand. You have such a good background and such a powerful grandfather. You should have endless resources. Why are you trying to steal Zheng Yu's? Li Feng said expressionlessly, robbing. Everything is reasonable and legal. After the provincial and district review, it was determined that my potential in Jiangshui city is higher than that of Zheng Yu, so the resources were given to me. Li Feng did not directly answer Wu Zong's words. He can't say it, because the S-level resources provided by the country are so abundant that it makes people crazy. Or do most powerful families do this? Although this is an unspoken rule of their upper class society, it is a secret that cannot be told to people like Wu Zong. Say it and die quickly. Reasonable and legal. Wu Zong muttered these four words. Is it reasonable? Unreasonable. Is it legal? The irony is, it's actually legal. Wu Zong felt very sad. On the one hand, he thinks he knows facts that others don't know, but he can't tell them. On the other hand, I was also sad about Zheng Yu's death. Looking at Wu Zong who lowered his head and said nothing, Li Feng snorted coldly. He could see that this kind of person said he was tough, but in fact he was a coward. However, just when Li Feng was about to leave, Wu Zong sighed and everyone lamented the unfairness of the world. A notification came like a bomb. Notify. Congratulations to the professional team, Summoner Squad, for breaking the historical clearance time of Cold Street Abyss Nightmare level. The clearance time is, 7 hours, 18 minutes and 11 seconds. Captain, Zheng Yu, Summoner. Team members, Dao Qian, Monk, Kei Ying, Assassin, Wenren Qingyu, Assassin. Member Wu Zong, Monk, will not receive any reward for escaping from battle, and will be punished by being forced to retreat. The remaining team members received rewards, professional experience plus 15,000, a historical record gift pack Cold Street Abyss Nightmare Level, a history recorder title Cold Street Abyss Nightmare Level version, asterisk 1. Silence. No one spoke. Some people even opened and closed notifications repeatedly, trying to confirm whether they had seen it wrong. Um, is this a system error? Someone broke the silence and asked. No one answered him. The only answer to him was the sound of gasping for air. And one sentence after another with unbelievable, WTF. The system certainly doesn't make mistakes. This is a temple. A temple that hasn't had any mistakes in decades. This leads many people to think that something is wrong with them. How can it be? Zheng Yu cleared the nightmare level abyss. A summoner, with four soy sauces, cleared the nightmare level abyss. Are you kidding me? Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.